be interesting. <laughs> I said hello and I feel like my voice sounds like I well I haven't talked much today so maybe that's why. Anyway, hi everyone, welcome back to the stream. Um, she's not live for me yet. Is she live for you? Well, Sophia, maybe. I just got here, so. <laughs> <laughs> People might not see me yet, but they will in a second. <laughs> good timing. Anyway, hi everybody. Welcome back to the stream. It's good to see you. Um, we're going to play some Sims today, which I'm kind of excited about. Hey, I was watching that. Who was I hosting, Messi? I didn't even see. That's the thing. I can't see who I'm hosting from my dashboard very easily. So I don't even I don't even remember who. I usually am hosting Simarchy, I think. Yeah. <laughs> oh, Steph Casey. Okay, that's also a good one. Most of the time, like, obviously, um, the same people stream, you know, before me every day. <laughs> and it, it auto-hosts, so it, like, auto-hosts a lot of the same people before stream, you know? Um, same Arky. Uh, bo both named Steph, but different Stephs. <laughs> but we're, we're definitely hosts Sim Arky and, and Steph Casey have bo both a lot before my stream, because they're both live before me a lot, so. Anyway, hi, everyone. Welcome back. It's good to see you. I like Sim Arky a lot, too. She's very good. You're new to Twitch? Welcome, Bob. It's nice to meet you. Steampunk, thank you for the six months. Okay, I got my game open, but um, I don't think I'm capturing the right game. So let me fix it, and then uh, we'll be good to go. Because see, look, how when I do this, you can't see anything. Oh, and it's back. There we go. Problem solved. <laughs> Give, thank you for the five months. Uh, Ship, thank you for the six months. Mayla, thank you for the two months. Mayla, that's like my name. Thank you for the two months. Jenny, thank you for the 17 months. Um, <laughs> Sean, thank you for the bits. Happy birthday. <laughs> Peeps, thank you for the nine months as well. Uh, Golden Gamer, thank you for the Prime sub. <laughs> anyway, we're, we're finally gonna finish- Oh, we're finally gonna finish this house. We started building it like a week or two ago. Um, I never furnished the upstairs. We furnished the downstairs, we never finished the upstairs. So we're finally gonna furnish the upstairs, at least in the beginning. Um, we built this house based on a picture we found of like a floor plan of a house. Um, it's kind of kind of funky on the outside, but I kind of like that about it. Um, and we, we still have yet to furnish the upstairs. So we're gonna furnish the rest of the upstairs today. The house already has the parents' bedroom. We've got a gym, there's an office. Like we're gonna have to do the upstairs though. Um, but yeah, we furnish, um, I haven't, I posted the unfurnished version of the gallery because you guys wanted me to. We built, the, oh my god, <laughs> we built this on December 29th, oh no. Well, it's been a couple weeks. <laughs> Fab, thank you for the sub. Uh, Jessica, thank you for the nine months. Moon, thank you for the bits. Zoinks, thank you for the bits. Wind, thank you for the two months. Liz with the 25 months. Uh, Evie, thank you for, so much for the eight months. You're real with the seven months. Oh, it's scrolling. Thank you guys so much. Aqueduct, thank you for the... Wait, it's... I lost it. Oh, three months. Okay. Pamela with the three months. Golden, I think I think you with the prime sub. Gabby with the 12 months. Mac with the 12 months. Both of you, thank you for the year. Um, Netstar, thank you for the two months. Cole, thank you for the four months. <laughs> Savannah, thank you for the bits. Um, I don't think I... NC Stone, thank you for the three months. Did I miss anybody? JJ, thank you for the four months. Thank you so much, you guys. Um... Anyway, I really appreciate you all. Thank you. Cop, thank you for the for the sub. No, that says co, probably. Co, planned co. Sorry. Georgia, thank you for the four months. Callie, thank you for the eight months. Oh, gosh. I'm sorry. Thank you all so much. Um, <laughs> I'm sorry if I'm, I'm trying to... Moon, thank you for the bits. Did I thank Moon? Oh, no. So much is happening. Thank you all so much. Okay. Well, Taz, thank you for the three months. Hi. <laughs> uh, Tinkerbella, thank you for the seven months. Drinking, thank you for the sub. Droid, thank you for the two months. Jay, thank you for the five months. Honey, thank you for the two months. Great, thank you for the four months. Loser, thank you for the bits. How do I feel about pomegranates? I don't know. I don't often buy or eat pomegranates, so I don't really, I don't know if I've got a um, strong opinion on pomegranate, to be honest. You know who loves pomegranates? Elliot and Stardew Valley. <laughs> Everyone, please, please, I know you don't mean any harm. I know I didn't post a video today. Um, I'm really sorry. Please stop standing about it. <laughs> I swear it's like every other message in chat. I'm really sorry. Um, some of us have really bad mental health and didn't pre-record in time. Um, some days you just aren't, aren't cut out to be Lil Simsy, you know? And um, we've had a couple of those days this week. And I'm really sorry, um, but I cried all day again. So I didn't post a video. But I'm here now because I feel better now. But I, I, you know, usually I'm more ahead on my videos, um, so this doesn't usually happen. But I wasn't, and I cried all day, so 
<laughs> Please don't guilt me. I know you look forward to my videos. I know it's a routine. I'm really sorry. Ellie, thank you for the bits. Lynn, thank you for the 39 months. Mel, thank you for the bits. Uh, Smith, thank you for the sub. No, Smilt. Sorry. What did I just say? Smith? That's not right. <laughs> Juan, thank you for the two months. Emmy, thank you for the prime sub. Music 11, thank you for the bits. Uh, Mooney with the five months. Unicorn, thank you for the 10 months. Um, F, thank you for the four months. Hedwig with the prime sub. Drinking, I think I got you, didn't I, with the sub? Oh, I'm so behind. I'm so sorry. <laughs> Swag, thank you for the thousand bits. Uh, Angelique, thank you for the sub. Brittany with the two gifted subs. Mona with the five gifted subs. Drew, thank you for the 14 months. Bliss, thank you for the three months. Ellie, thank you for the bits. Thank you guys so much. Oh my goodness. I'm so sorry. What is it? Wait. Cute, but I'm still mad at you. What did I ever do to you, Sky Simmer 9? I don't even know who you are. <laughs> okay. Anyway. <laughs> Spontaneous drinking Kool Aid. Uh, cool. Miss Kate, Sarah, HK. Thank you, everyone. Thank you so much. Um, Daisy and Madeline, everybody, thank you all for the resubs and bids. Um, <laughs> what did I do this time? Is it because I didn't post today? <laughs> I'm just kidding. Eden, thank you for the two months. Um, I appreciate that. You had a bad headache? Oh, I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. I feel your pain. Um, that is the absolute worst. I'm so, so sorry. Uh, but anyway, we're going to um, work on finishing this house today because I, I want to get it done. I love the outside of this house. I think that the, like, the landscaping is so beautiful. Um, we just haven't finished furnishing the upstairs for whatever reason. I guess because we didn't finish it that day. Like, it, we, I spent a day doing the outside and, like, part of the downstairs, another day doing the rest, and then we didn't get to finish it, and then it was, like, New Year's Eve and, like, so much was going on, so we didn't finish it, and now it's been two weeks. Um, so. <laughs> Uh, Miss Ellie Cat, thank you for the bits. Sims fan, thank you for the bits. Uh, Katie, thank you for the bits. Eden, thank you for the two months. Thank you all so much, you guys. I really appreciate that. Um, okay, but anyway. Do I have a tutorial on, on roofing and landscaping? Jenna, I've got a roofing tutorial. I think I have a couple roofing videos on my channel, but I, I don't know if I have a landscaping specific one. I don't think I'm that good at landscaping. I don't know how to give advice. People always ask me to do that, and I like, I do the same thing every time. I do this. <laughs> This exact thing. Like, I don't think I'm that good at landscaping. I don't know if I have, like, advice to give. You know? Um, I, that's, I feel I have a hard time, like, trying to formulate, like, <laughs> what my advice is. Because in my head, I'm like, I don't know. You should put some, like, low-lying bushes and stuff. I think my, my number one thing is that I try not to have too many different, like, random flowers. I want it to be, like, a little bit more organized. Organized chaos. I don't know. I could try to figure something out, but I'm just not, I don't know how to, I don't know how to put it, put it in words. I just do it. <laughs> uh, Pirate, thank you for the bits. Little Dika, thank you for the bits. Um, <laughs> I appreciate that. Thank you so much. It's good to see you, by the way. Hannah, thank you for the six months. Uh, Seal, thank you for the three months. Cody, with the 33 months. Moon, thank you for the prime sub. Megan, thank you for the four months. Maddie, thank you for the prime sub. Alexia, thank you for the sub gift. Um, Koala, thank you for love months. Thank you all so much. I'm sorry if I missed anything. It's not on purpose. Oh, it's somebody's birthday? Oh my goodness. Well. Uh, I did it. <laughs> I did it. Okay. Well, we can actually start building then soon. I need to open a second OBS so that we can actually record it if I want to post a speed build of this. This flooring is vampires. Um, this house has, well, let's see, there's like a bunch of, um, obviously a lot of get-to-get-together get stuff. I think that the brick might be Realm of Magic. Yeah, the brick is Realm of Magic. That's cursed. Um, base game landscaping for the most part. Um, I don't know. It looks like we got some vampire stuff again in the kitchen. This is laundry day. No, that's, no, it's not. That's get famous. Okay. Uh, <laughs> University, cats and dogs, spa day. This is too many. There's a packs. Quite a few packs. <laughs> uh, Delix, thank you for the five months. Blue Sunshine, thank you for the bits. Uh, Swax, thank you for the five gifted subs. Pink Sprinkles, thank you for the six months. Ghoul, thank you for the bits. Anonymous for the sub gift. Um, Holbrook, thank you for the prime sub. Enola, thank you for the prime sub. <laughs> Mahil, thank you for the 11 months. Emily with the six months. Emma with the five months. Thank you guys so much.
I really appreciate that. Which house is this? I'll show you a tour in a second. Um, I think, I think we're caught up. I think we're good. So we started building this like two weeks ago. Um, I built the whole exterior and did the downstairs furnishing. We found a picture online of a house that we wanted to build. And then, oh, it's this one. I found uh, this house online and I was like, oh, it's pretty. Let's try and build it. Obviously, our version doesn't look too much like it. But it's a similar vibe. Um, that's what we tried to build. I just never finished furnishing the upstairs. So uh, we're going to finish furnishing the upstairs today. That's my plan. Look straight out of Texas. Yeah. <laughs> Floyd, thank you for the bits. Uh, Fee, thank you for the 32 months. Silas, thank you for the prime sub. Edwards, the 28 months. Lovely with the bits. Swags with the bits. Thank you guys so much. Tim's fan, thank you for the bits. No Star Wars in the build. Yeah. Do you know what I saw? Um... EA lost their exclusive rights to like Star Wars games today. Um, I don't really know what I don't I don't know the full context of this or what it really means. But basically, before only EA could make Star Wars games, now other people can make Star Wars games. And I, I made a joke. I was like, "Wow, that Star Wars pack was really the nail in the coffin there, wasn't it?" <laughs> Yikes! <laughs> um, but in the past, like obviously the last like eight years. Only EA has been able to make Star Wars games. Um, and now, that's not the case. Um, but they they had, like, three Star Wars games come out this year. There was, like, this, the Sims pack. There was, like, another Lego Star Wars game. I swear, at, like, the, at, um... Was it, like, E3 or something? I forget what event it was. But, like, at some big gaming event recently, they had, like, a bunch of big announcements, right? I swear to God, it was, like, three Star Wars games. <laughs> How many Star Wars games are you people gonna make? They knew the contract was ending probably, so they were just like, let's get three more out. <laughs> um, it was E3, right? But yeah, there was like three different Star Wars games. A Lego one, The Sims one, I don't know. Anyway. <laughs> anyway. Um, Nova, thank you for the sub. Mika, thank you for the bits. Princess, thank you for the bits. Ruby, thank you for the bits. Thank you so much, I really appreciate that. Leah, thank you for the five months. Um, I did watch Bridgerton on Netflix. Yeah, Dan and I watched that a couple weeks ago. Or a week ago. I don't know. Time doesn't exist anymore. I don't... I But we did watch Bridgerton, yeah. I can't say I recommend it that much. But, um, it was it was a ride. A wild ride. <laughs> it's also not family-friendly. Do not watch this show. And do not watch it with your parents, especially. Um, if you're a child, don't watch it. If you're, um... I don't know, my age? Don't watch it with your parents. <laughs> There is so much sex in that show. You do not watch Bridgerton with your parents. Uh, um, you wouldn't expect it. And then, um, yeah. <laughs> Just started watching it with your mom. <laughs> well, have fun with that one. <laughs> no, it was, uh, it was fine. It wasn't that, it was a fine show. Um, but, um, it, I, I don't know. <laughs> it's fine. <laughs> HGG, thank you for the bits. Molly, thank you for the 20 months. Um, Mer, thank you for the sub gift. Coco, thank you for the five months. Lola, thank you for the prime sub. Um, Jeski, thank you for the two months. Singer, thank you for the five gifted subs. Oh my god, thank you so much. Um, but anyway, don't, if, don't, if you're a child, it's not family friendly. <laughs> <Don't>, avoid. <laughs> um, well, Jasmine, I didn't know that it was, it was based on a, um, a romance book series when we watched it. I just heard people talking about it on the internet and I was like, eh, we could watch that. Seems like an easy watch. I didn't know that it was like a romance book. <laughs> I had never heard of it before. <laughs> um, so that was news to me. Sue, so thank you for the bits. Drinking, thank you for the bits. Uh, Evie, thank you for the bits. Sky, thank you for the 23 months. Thank you all so much. Um, but anyway, yeah, the alerts are a little delayed above my head here. <laughs> just give them a second. Just give him a second. <laughs> okay. Um, but anyway, we're gonna... Yeah, there's gonna be another Twelve the Boys I Love Before. I know. I saw us people talking about that on Twitter earlier today. Um, I, I watched the first two movies of To All the Boys I've Loved Before. Some of these Netflix films are, are really quite something. These, like, Netflix, like, teen rom-coms. The, the whole premise of that, that's a book series, too. Ooh. I dropped my harmonica. But in that one, the first movie, this girl, she, like, throughout her whole life, wrote letters to her crushes. 
And so she was like eight and she was like, ooh, this boy at summer camp's cute and like wrote a letter to him. Didn't send it to him, but like kept it in a box, right? And then when she was in high school, her little brat sister mailed the letters to all of the boys. So she had written like, I forget, like six letters to like boys she knew growing up. And then her little brat sister mailed them to all of the boys. Cause she was like, you don't have a boyfriend, you should. And then she mailed these embarrassing letters to all of these boys. And then the girl, and there's like love triangles and stuff. In the sh and that's the movie. I am not addicted to Twitter, Baby Yodas. I think I am the exact opposite. Twitter makes me cry. I have it. I don't even have the app on my phone. I go on Twitter like once a day <laughs> on my computer to check it. Um, I, do, I am not addicted to Twitter. In fact, it is the exact opposite. I avoid at all costs. <laughs> um, <laughs> Blueberry, thank you for the pick. Um, you got Stardew today? It's so fun! It's so fun! Um, I'm really proud of you. Congratulations on, on your first duty as a crossing guard duty, too. Hey, Kat, thank you for the six months. Justin, thank you for the prime sub. Lil, thank you for the prime sub. Laurel, thank you for the seven months. Yell, thank you for the four months. Kelly, thank you for the prime sub. Evie, thank you for the bits. Oh my goodness, thank you guys so much. Um, <laughs> Adorkable, thank you for the four months. Um, anyway, I, I, um... I'm on social media so much, like, I, I spend so much time doing, like, YouTube and Twitch things that I don't know if I, I can't handle too much else. <laughs> I do my best, Queen of the North, to keep up with chat. I do my best. All right, let's try and furnish the house, shall we? Um, anyway, I quite like watching, like, Netflix rom-com type stuff. It honestly is very fun. It's- oh no. Like, one of my favorite things to do is watch, like, bad movies, you know, like, cheesy movies and stuff. Um, I, I like to watch easy things that require little to no thought. Like, I, I want to just have it on in the background and, and do other things, you know? Um, and so I, that's why I like to watch stuff that, um, is easy. <laughs> so. <laughs> anyway, okay, I don't know how I want to furnish these rooms. We have four kids' rooms to furnish. Let's make this one pink. <laughs> Megs, congrats on the Discord roll. Carrie, Mama J, Kalia, uh, RHV, Adorkable, KCAT, thank you all for the resubs and stuff. 12 months, Mama J, thank you so much. Um, mods, you probably don't have to delete them asking about where the video was. I'm just gonna ignore them. <laughs> um, they don't mean any harm. I don't think they realize that it's the only message in chat. <laughs> it's okay, just stop asking it. Oh my god. These floors are base game, yeah. I didn't post a video because um, I was crying all day. Usually I am more ahead in recording content. I was not ahead today because I've been crying all week. Um, and so I didn't post a video today because I was crying and you can't exactly record YouTube content when you're crying all day. So I'm really sorry. Um, please, please. <laughs> it's like every other message in chat. <laughs> um, I didn't post on Sunday either, I know, I'm sorry. I've, there's just a lot of things going on right now, um, and they're not good things, so, um, you know. <sighs> okay. Um, like, in my personal life, I mean, I just, I don't... <laughs> Bad. Okay, let's make some rooms, shall we? Cool. Um... The gray flooring, I like the gray flooring, but it makes the house seem so cold, you know? It's okay, we'll make it work. Do I watch Riverdale? I watched the first season of Riverdale. That was, it was out like my, my senior year of high school. I, I have this memory of, of like binging Riverdale on Netflix the week before my graduation, my high school graduation. Um, but, and then my, my roommates and I, my freshman year of college, would watch Riverdale, like, when it came out, and then I didn't watch it after that. Like, once I moved out from that dorm, we no longer watched it anymore together, so I only saw the first, like, season or two. Maybe, like, first season and half of the second, I don't remember. Um, but I haven't seen a ton of Riverdale, but I've seen some. <laughs> it's a little bit, um cheesy, but that's, that's to be expected, right? I think that's part of what makes it good. I don't know. <laughs> I don't 
only use base game. Tia, what are you talking about only use base game? This house has like a million packs in it. <laughs> I'm telling you, I literally cannot win with people. They'll sit here and be like, why do you only use base game? Why are you using so many packs? What do you want? <laughs> what am I supposed to do? I'm trying to find a happy medium, but what, <laughs> what do you want me to do? <laughs> Um, anyway, it, there's just, obviously people that have no packs want base game, people that have packs, maybe even if you have no packs, you want to see the packs, so you want other, but like, I just, I'm trying to do both, depending on the build. Um, Maria, Maria thank you for the 10 months, Fluke Girl, thank you for the bits, um, uh, Maddie, Miv, Vanessa, Curtin, Laura, Alicia, Carrie, thank you all so much. Um, <laughs> Where is Snap? I don't know, Golden Gamer downstairs probably. Um Snap has free reign of the house. <laughs> she she can go where she pleases. I don't know where she happens to be at this particular moment. <laughs> Brandy, thank you for the seven months. Okay. It, oh, she owns the house. This is this is her her space, her home. <laughs> Um, who is Lil Simsy? Good question, Miv. I, I ask myself that every day. <laughs> who is Lil Simsy? Um. <laughs> Cute. Does that come in a better color? Maybe that one will work. Um, I want a different rug, I think, but I don't know which one. Cameron, thank you for the thousand bits. I'm not building for anyone in particular, I'm just building a house. <laughs> People ask me that all the time, too. They're like, who, who's gonna live in this house? Like, who we're building for? And I'm like, I don't know. They've got a sim that likes pink. <laughs> <I'm>... <laughs> Couldn't tell you otherwise, though. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> okay. Um. Sorry, I'm playing the Sturdy Valley soundtrack very quietly. Hence why I just started humming to myself. Maybe I can make this better. No, not that. That rug's not gonna work. <laughs> no. <sighs> My brain just is like not functioning. I don't understand what is going on with my head, but I, I have literally never been so anxious in my life. The past like two weeks, I feel like my brain doesn't even work. Like I literally cannot think straight. Like, I, I keep, like, losing my train of thought for no- Like, I'm, I can't function as a human. I'm really sorry. <laughs> um, oh my god. Okay. Um, we just keep decorating. <laughs> Everything's fine. Make room into a craft room. We already have, um, a, a, like, an extra room downstairs that's a gym. There's there's literally an office and a gym downstairs suit. I don't know if we need to have a craft room, too. <laughs> I think I might, um, I think I might just make these rooms upstairs bedrooms, but a different house might fit a craft room better. Um, Smarty, thank you for the five months. Thank you so much. And thank you for the three months. Saris, thank you for the prime sub. Kid, thank you for the prime sub. Mama Jake, thank you for the bits. Thank you so much. Um... But maybe one of the maybe one of the Sims can be into crafts and they can have like some crafty stuff in their in their bedroom. Um Why the furniture not all being the same color is the most annoying thing. Like they're all white, but the shades of white are different. It makes me want to cry. <laughs> Joe, thank you for the prime sub. Like I, like I feel like this, this doesn't fit. Like this, this bookcase is like too. It doesn't like it doesn't work. Squizzy, thank you for the five months. Um, Blueberry, thank you for the bits. You made it yourself a shelter out of my Pinterest house. Oh my god, that that house is so big. That that furnishing is gonna be quite something. 
Um, I'm gonna try to furnish that at some point this week. Maybe start working on it tomorrow. I don't know. Not on stream, but like for a video. Oh, maybe on stream. I don't know. We'll see. But I want to finish this one first. But yeah, that um, that Pinterest house that I built for a video last week. Oh, that is gonna be quite the house to furnish. It is very large. <laughs> we are gonna be in for it with that one. Um, Hadley, thank you for the three months. We might stream it, because then I can make a, a quick speed build of the inside or something. I don't know. Um, Bambi, thank you for the two months. Brady, thank you for the nine months. Thank you guys so much. Um... I might leave. We'll come back and add more to that room later. No, I won't. Let's. I'm not gonna do it. Even if I say I am, I'm not going to. Let's finish decorating it now. <laughs> Who are you kidding, Kayla? You you say that, but you're not gonna finish it now because you know you aren't gonna come back to it. Um, I made a house for my YouTube channel. Um, I call it like a Pinterest house or something. Um, Sierra, so thank you for the two months. <laughs> okay. That might be part of it, Allie. I don't know. I feel like usually I would get, like, for most of my my life, the past, like, five years or whatever, I would get, like, the worst anxiety around, like, springtime and then summer because, like, it kind of would start with, like, exam stress. And then I would go from being, like, work, 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 work all the time, school, 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 ah, to, like, summer nothing and then like not have a thing to like occupy my time and my brain and then be like just not good I, like I just wouldn't be doing well because I wouldn't have like a distraction I couldn't like pour myself into work instead because I didn't have like school to study for anymore because it was summer break but now it's January so who knows what's going on my brain's just not functioning completely unrelated apparently <laughs> um Zoki, thank you for the sub. Tiny Bird, thank you for the two months. Cameron, thank you for the two gifted subs. Sierra, thank you for the two months. Nessie, thank you for the 16 months. Um, Quad, thank you for the three months. Zombie, thank you for the two months. Dionysus, thank you for the five months. Hadley, thank you for the three months. Did I thank everybody? I'm sorry if I missed anyone. Um, <laughs> Westwood, thank you for the three months also. Okay. Um... I don't want to furnish that room. I want to furnish this room. <laughs> Change my mind. <laughs> I'm gonna do this one instead. I like this minty color. It's pretty. Um. Cute. <laughs> Okay, um, I'm not sure what color I want to put on the walls. Um, oh, hi, Snap. Hey, come here. Do you want to say hi? I think the bed looks new. This is from Cats and Dogs, isn't it? Yeah, it's Cats and Dogs. That's actually quite old these days. <laughs> um, <laughs> it's, been, it's been a bit since that one, hasn't it, huh? Um, I don't know what color I want to put on the walls. I like, I like that color, maybe as an accent. That's my cat clawing on her cat tree. <laughs> Don't mind it. <laughs> that's that's just my cat. Um I don't know what I want to do. <gasps> Ooh. That actually seems very nice. Snap is 12, Lily. We've been friends for quite some time me and her. <laughs> I got Snap when I was nine. She has been my only friend for for a bit now. <laughs> you got a job interview, Calissa, that's awesome. I'm really, really excited for you. Is that what I wanted it to be? Didn't I mean to? No, it's that one. Snap, come here. She tried to walk away without coming to say hi to me. Confirm Bert that you're for the five good subs. Ringo, thank you for the four months. Mag, thank you for the six months. Come here. 
I know she wants up. She just is staring at me. Well, you guys weren't around when I was nine, were you? No. So therefore, you weren't my friends back then. Hmm? <laughs> my cat is the only interaction I have with other creatures that exist. <laughs> Um, I don't see other humans. I don't talk to other humans except for Dan and Dan lives in a different country. Um, my cat's all we got. So. <laughs> God, I'm so sorry, Callista. I'm really glad that you got the interview. That's awesome. That's really awesome news. Keep us posted. <laughs> Jody, thank you for the seven months. Grace, thank you for the bits. Snap. What do you want? I want her to jump up so bad, but she's like sitting just behind me. Ruth, thank you for the four months. Okay. Maybe we should put the... Oh, that's not right. This wallpaper is from Realm of Magic, actually. It is a... right? Yes, Realm of Magic. That would be Realm of Magic. Yeah, long distance is hard, Nova. I'm sorry to hear that. Especially at a time like this. It always sucks, but it really sucks right now. I might use that. I don't hate it. Living with life, thank you for the bits. Um, hey, I'm really, I'm really glad that you made it back. I'm sorry that you've had a rough day living with life. Thank you for the bits. Um, Queen, thank you for the prime sub. Ronald, thank you for the 17 months. Ruth, thank you for the four months. Um, I, I hope that I hope that you hear back soon from about the job from the interview. I, I hope that you get it. What I, I'm sorry about your stress about this. It's such a such a nightmare. I hope that it all works out soon. Do I stream on the 15th? What day is the 15th? Friday? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It should be. That's a different color. But yeah, I stream every day but Sundays. Unless, of course, something comes up, but you know, who knows? <laughs> you can expect me most days. <laughs> On the 3rd of March, Ravenclaw, I don't have an answer for that. <laughs> I don't know what I'm gonna be doing on March 3rd. Um, probably gonna stream that day. Cotton Candy, I don't call your builds ugly. I like this wallpaper. Why are you calling it ugly? I don't know what to do about this. Um. None of the desks, in, none of the, I mean, none of the chairs interest me. Um, how about August 29th, 2022? <laughs> Kayla, what are your plans for 2022? Tell me. Um. <laughs> June 39th, 2027? Okay, Miff. <laughs> okay. June 39th, 2027. Hopefully we're all still around by then. <laughs> <laughs> Cute waffles, thank you for the seven months. Um, Mike, thank you for the 12 months. Thank you for the year. I really appreciate that. Um, because, like, hopefully the pandemic is over by 2022. Um, fingies crossed, right? Maybe I'll get to see Dan by then. <laughs> Sorry, it's not funny. Oh, okay. Um... Okay, I wanna get a... What software slash app do you use to get the face box on your screen? My, f you mean my like stream overlays and stuff? I'm streaming with OBS. Um, and through OBS I can have separate sources. So I have like my game camera. This is like a camera, the footage you're seeing in my game. I got my actual camera. I have a cat cam that I don't have on right now cause she's not in here. Oh, she is in here. She's actually, she's right there on the floor. I don't know if you can see her, but I'm gonna try. Oh, you can't. I'm gonna take a picture of her, then you'll see. 
<laughs> She's just sitting on the floor. <laughs> okay. I will show you. Um, but yeah, the program I used to stream is called OBS. It's free. It's a little bit complicated to learn, but it's not, it's not too hard. Um, worth, worth checking out if you're looking into streaming. There's pretty much the program to stream. This is what my cat's doing right now. <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> She's just looking at the wall. <laughs> Anyway, um, looks like an owl. Yeah, a little bit, I guess. <laughs> she's not getting the attention she deserves, so she's she's protesting. Snap. <laughs> it's like she's throwing a fit. She's like crossed her arms. She's like looking away. <laughs> How do you record in HD using OBS? What do you mean, Master Sim? Um my camera your settings in obs i don't use streamlabs obs i use regular obs i've used obs a lot longer than streamlabs obs has existed um i don't feel the need to um you, i'm not gonna switch <laughs> um but yeah I, I use regular obs not streamlabs obs but anyway anyway Someone called their cat a little turd and it got picked up by Automod. <laughs> Automod said you cannot say turd in this Twitch chat. <laughs> Aries, Blam, Hi Pancake, Kenny, Haley, um, thank you guys all for the resubs. Thank you so much. Um, do I use a USB for extra storage on my PC? A USB? No. <laughs> do you mean like a thumb drive? <laughs> Um, no, I have, um, a big hard drive in my PC, so I don't need to have another one, but I also have an external hard drive. Um, so, yes, kind of. <laughs> oh no, I forgot! Oh. Hang on. Sorry. Oh. <laughs> there goes my face cam border. <laughs> you distracted me, I was trying to, um... I was trying to hide a word from my chat with, with better TTV. I'm like, I'm over people asking my video. I'm just gonna hide it so I don't have to look at it anymore. Okay, um, we're back. <laughs> Andrew, thank you for the 36 months. Yeah, I'm playing Stardew Music. Guys, if you don't follow my friend Andrew Arcade, by the way, Andrew Arcade is one of my favorite people on the planet. I have, I have loved his videos and streams for a very, very long time. Um, please, please go check out Andrew Arcade on Twitch. Um, thank you for the 36 month resub. Oh my god. <laughs> I really appreciate you. Taki, thank you for the 26 months. Leather, thank you for the bits. Um, Aries, thank you for the six months. Thank you guys so much. Um, <laughs> my favorite Taylor Swift song. I like the song August a lot too. You said your favorite- Oh, bless you. Did you sneeze? My favorite Taylor Swift song is is maybe August. No, that's not true. I don't know about favorite. I'm not good at picking favorite songs. I literally can never pick favorite songs. I like the song August a lot though. That's one of my favorites off that album. Um, so I'm I'm with you on that one. I just said bless you to my cat. She didn't even cover her mouth when she sneezed. Don't you know there's a pandemic going on right now, Snap? Wow. <laughs> Haley, <laughs> thank you for the three months. <laughs> okay. Um, that I don't like. I don't know how to. I don't know how to decorate this room. <gasps> Perfect. Oh, never mind. I was going to put her cat cam on, but then when I leaned down to do it, she walked out of her bed. Come here. Oh, snap. Well, I'll at least set it back up so that if she does go back there, then we'll have it ready. <laughs> the least we can do is put it back, right? Um, I don't really have the best setup for this. I sort of just like put a, um, yeah, that's not good. <laughs> that's not, 
<laughs> okay. I, was, I sort of just like stick my webca webcam on top of a tripod. I don't even like attach it. I just like set it on top. So. <laughs> Snappy, go back into your bed. Okay, well, if she goes back into the bed, we'll put the cat cam on. But. <laughs> Okay, um... How do you tilt your screen? What do you mean how do I tilt my screen? I was tilting the camera. <laughs> I was moving the camera. Um, but, anyway. <laughs> what do you mean how do I get a snap cam to work on OBS? You just add a second scene. You, If you need help with OBS, it's probably best if you look up a tutorial um, for how to, like, add second sources and stuff, um, just because me just saying out loud, add another source, is really not gonna help you. Um, so if you need help with OBS, your best bet is probably not to ask me in Twitch chat, and more so to ask, um, <laughs> Google. Because <laughs> you can find tutorials and stuff. Karina, thank you for the 14-month resub. Bubble, thank you for the bits. Um, I love you. I'm really, really sorry to hear that. Thank you so much for the bits. Um, Delaney, thank you for the eight months. Mid, thank you for the prime sub. Kenny, thank you for the bits. What should you build today? Did I? Oh, we've been abandoned. She walked away. Um, anyway, what should you build today? Um, a farm. A farm. Yeah. Kenny asked, so I answered. Yesterday, I'm pretty sure Kenny, I, was, I think it was yesterday. All the days blur together, but I'm pretty sure Kenny asked yesterday and we said to make a, um, maybe it was like two days ago that I said that, what, like, cat thing? I forget. I don't know. Stardew Valley on the brain. Yeah, I'm listening to the Stardew Valley soundtrack, so I'm <laughs> sitting here just thinking about farming. Don't mind me. Don't mind me, I'm just thinking about farming. <laughs> Can't get it out of my head. Okay. <laughs> no. I might get a bookshelf over here. Hmm. Autumn, thank you for the two months. Jack, thank you for the two months. Thank you guys both so much. Oh, really, Aces? That's awesome. That's really fun. Okay. That's not the same color. <laughs> oh, no. I, I'm, I have no furniture inspiration at the moment. You know when you just get in those moods where it's like, I don't know, anything is fine. <laughs> Just put whatever down. That's how I'm feeling right now. I'm like, I don't know. <laughs> okay. Um. <laughs> Try to use one item in each room you never use. That's what I'm doing with this wallpaper. I'm trying to, I'm trying to branch out. Okay. I don't know what I want to put on the walls. Wallpaper is so difficult to work with. <laughs> Kat, thank you for the two months. Um, Alba, thank you for the four months. Maddie, thank you for the two months. Um, Elle, thank you for the prime sub. Thank you so much. Wallpaper is from Realm of Magic. I never use this wallpaper, so I'm trying to, like, base the room around it, but I don't actually know who I even want to live in this room, you know? Which makes it difficult. I guess this is probably fine, right? I can just leave it. <laughs> um, anyway, people keep asking if I do a setup tour. I haven't done a setup tour since I've been in this place. Maybe eventually. I'm kind of like, I don't want to get judged. My setup's like nice, but 
I'm, I'm like nervous to, <laughs> to show you what my space looks like, you know, it makes me feel nervous. Um, but <laughs> does anybody else ever feel that way? I just, I haven't, I haven't shown all of you obviously much of, um, my life <laughs> like that way. Um, so it makes me kind of nervous. The thought of like showing you what my room looks like in full, but I don't know. Also people, they probably would have things to say about things I could do better. And it's like, I don't really <laughs> care what you stranger on the internet think, but that doesn't, that's not a reason to not do it. Um, but. <laughs> Um, where's- Dan lives with his parents, so he doesn't have, like, a- a ton of stuff to- to move over, you know? It's not like he's bought, like, a couch and stuff that he has to get rid of when he moves here. Um, because it was his parents. Obviously he has a bunch of stuff, but he doesn't have, like, a- a full place worth of stuff to move or to get rid of when he moves here. Um, because he, like, went from living, like, in, like, dorm-type stuff in university to then back home with his parents, so he doesn't really have, like, a ton of things. Um. Gary, thank you for the three months. Thank you so much. This bed is from Eco Lifestyle, but I'm not going to use that one. I need to get myself some more money. Um. Maybe I'll use that. No. Oh, everyone, you gotta calm down. It's, he's not moving here anytime soon. We applied for a visa literally a year ago, <laughs> almost exactly, and it's not being processed right now because of the pandemic. There is no news. It's gonna be like a year or two until he can come here. Don't get your hopes up too high. This is like distant future. We, well, we've applied, but there, there's no progress because they aren't processing them because of the, the pandemic. So it's just sitting in a pile, not being looked at. So don't get your hopes up. <laughs> Don't get your hopes up. He's not going to be here for a while. <laughs> um, I'm going to use that bed. Let me change the wallpaper. Um, I cannot wait until February because then it'll been, have been an entire year since we applied and there will have been no progress. Isn't that fun? <laughs> can't, can't wait. Really looking forward to that day. Um, no, he can't come to the U.S. at all right now, Sienna. At all. The There's a travel ban from a lot of countries right now. Not all countries. The U.S.'s borders are open. Except for there's a travel ban on, like, China, Europe <laughs> as a whole. Um, but, like, if uh, other places can still fly here. Um, so he... If you've entered Europe in the last 14 days, and obviously he lives in England... You can't fly to the U.S. right now, at all. Um, so he simply cannot come here at all. <laughs> okay. Um. <laughs> Let's see. Yeah, there are some YouTubers going out, flying around on vacations to random places. Isn't that absurd? Like, flying to the Bahamas for fun. I don't- I don't get it. I don't get it. Um, but yeah, our borders- the US's borders aren't closed to everyone. Up until, like, this week, you didn't even need to have a negative COVID test to enter the country. Which is also absurd. Like, you- you didn't even need to prove that you weren't- that you didn't have COVID to fly here, as long as you were flying from a non-banned place. Welcome on in! They, they started requiring COVID tests this week. This week. I don't understand. I don't understand. Anyway. It's a bit ridiculous, but whatever. Out of our control. So. <laughs> yeah. Um, I don't I don't get it either, but oh well. The UK also just started requiring negative COVID tests recently as well. They didn't require them this whole time either. Um, for whatever reason. I don't- I don't understand that at all. 
like so many countries were requiring COVID tests and like forcing you to quarantine. Like when you flew into like certain countries, they would they would force you. Like there would be like a required quarantine. Like you have to pay them, and then like they would put you up in a specific hotel, and you would stay there for two weeks in like a mandatory quarantine. And then the U.S. and the U.K. are just like, come on in. Who cares? <laughs> Welcome. <laughs> Why? Why? It doesn't make any sense. <sighs> but anyway. Yeah, like Australia, for example, has a, a mandatory quarantine. You have to like pay. It's like really expensive, but you have to pay to stay in like a specific hotel when you get there. And then you have like a mandatory quarantine. Um, which makes a lot more sense than just letting anybody and everyone come on in. Um, but, oh well. Um, yeah, Shan, I imagine my, one of my mods, you guys know Lady Colossus in the chat, Shan works at an airport in Canada. Um, I, I cannot imagine how many things <laughs> you must see. Just people making ridiculous choices. Um, Let's see, maybe we can get a dollhouse, perhaps? <laughs> yeah, Fennel, exactly. Places like Australia have done a really wonderful job of controlling this, and other places, like here, have done, in fact, no job of controlling it. I live in Florida. I think it's safe to say that there has been no, <laughs> no attempt to um, curb this issue. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's not base game only at all. Um, nah, it's got a bunch of packs in it. Oh, I can't get a window on this side. That's sad. That's okay. Um... Should I use the cat blarfy? I can use the cat blarfy instead. I don't mind. Sure. I like that one. That's cute. Florida is its own place. We do not claim that. You can't leave me in the dust like this, Danya. It's not my fault this is happening. <sighs> what about me? Okay. Um... Ever thought about leaving Florida? Yeah, I have a lot. My whole life I wanted to not live here anymore. Um, it's not really that simple though. Like my, my family lives here, you know? Um, up and moving away is, is not really like <laughs> a simple choice. Um, especially right now. Um, obviously I'm never gonna move anytime soon, but maybe at some point in the distant future I would move out of this horrid place, but... Um, not right now. <laughs> I have absolutely no support system aside from my parents, so <laughs> I don't even have friends. Like, we we can't be getting out of here yet. Um, okay. Um, I don't really care what the rooms look like, to be perfectly honest with you. Inspiration for the house? Yeah, actually. Um, the outside looks like this. Sprite, thank you for 11 months. Amelia, thank you for the bits. Um, that is really, really stressful. Oh my god. Nice along, thank you for the sub gift. Keith, thank you for the two months. Raymer, thank you for the four months. Liz, thank you for the six months. Oh, sorry, Lit Uno, thank you for the 21 months. I totally missed that. Mickey with the 10 months. Honey with the sub. Katie with the seven months. Ole with the prime sub. I've been sitting here talking about myself for so long that, like, I don't... <laughs> I totally missed so many alerts. I'm so sorry. I've just been sitting here going on about my issues. Completely forgot to read alerts at all. <laughs> I'm sorry. Um, someone in chat said they're in Central Florida. Me too. I relate. <laughs> I am also right here. Okay. Um, Central Florida gang? Nice! 
just the three of us hanging out, you know? <laughs> oh, you too? Oh, the four of us. Nice. <laughs> you have a cousin in Florida that you didn't know existed? Oh, that's fun, Alice. You go to grad school at UF? Nice. I almost went to UF for college, but then I went to um, University of Central Florida instead. <laughs> Because I decided to stay closer to home. Um, but I almost went to UF. <laughs> uh, I think I might put two beds in this room. But I don't know which beds. Maybe I'll use these. You're in Illinois? I was born in Illinois. My parents are from Illinois. Both of them. We lived there when I was small. You still able to hear the Disney fireworks, really? Um, a lot of people my mom works with live that close to Disney. Um, I do not live that close to Disney. <laughs> I live close to Disney, but not that close to Disney. <laughs> um. <laughs> Tiny living is OP, I agree. You're that close to Disney in California, really? Nice. Do you like it? I, that's one of those things that I, I, it seems like both a blessing and a curse, depending on how you're feeling that day. <laughs> but like, I feel like being able to hear Disney's fireworks every single night. I mean, oh my God. It can't be good. It can't be fun. That seems horrible. Um... Why do I want to use that? You can get Universals too? Does Universal have fireworks? Have I never... Oh no, of course they do, because they have that show on the Hogwarts castle. Yeah, duh, never mind, sorry. I don't know why, I, I totally, I've seen it. I've been there. <laughs> I totally blanked on it. <laughs> Jeez, thank you for the five months. Um, Tony, thank you for the fucking subs. <laughs> Queen, thank you for the 12 months. Tony, thank you for the sub. Leo, thank you for the vids. Doctor, thank you for the two months. Thank you so much, you guys. I can't believe, what am I <laughs> sitting here like, does, does Universal have fireworks? I'm not sure. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> um, can I? Um. Oh my god, I just tried to type words to my mods. It did not work. I just tried to type the word shouldn't, I swear to god, I'm gonna copy and paste how I spelled it to you. I'm gonna show you how I typed the word shouldn't, because this is like... It's like a keyboard slam. That was how I just typed shouldn't. That was not the word, that's not a word. What is that? <laughs> I'm gonna type- this is the exact message I sent. Oh wait, that's not- hang on. <laughs> what is that? Oh my god. <laughs> we were doing so good in the first half too, and then it just- <laughs> Jeez, thank you guys for the resubs and bits. Oh, okay. Well, I tried. <laughs> it just didn't work. <laughs> I don't know if I want this rug or not. I'm gonna change it. Shia LaBeouf! Oh, no. Oh, felon chicken. Thank you for the tier 2 10 months. Cameron, thank you for the sub gift. Um, Sasson, thank you for the bits. I really appreciate that. I'm doing great. I'm doing great today. Can't type, but I'm doing great. Plancy, thank you for the bits. Do you know what? I have- I watched, um, the movie Holes with Dan for the first time in, like, years. 
like a, a month or two ago. I used to love Holes when I was a kid, um, but I watched it again recently. I liked it a lot less. I find myself, I get so stressed watching movies. And the way these poor children were treated, it stressed me out so much. It was not an enjoyable movie experience. <laughs> like, I did not like that at all. Um, but anyway, who knows anyone's it about? Um, this kid gets falsely accused of stealing shoes. Um, and then gets sent to this, like, camp where they have to dig holes every day as a punishment. But, like, in the desert, with, like, no water, it's miserable, it's really bad, the kids are all super mistreated, like... Labor camp, not just a camp, like a labor camp, it's like a bad, bad, bad. Like, you're a bad kid, so you're going to this bad labor camp, and you're gonna dig holes all day, every day. And you're gonna, like, work on your character. It's really not, it's very stressful. Um, but it's a movie. Yes, yeah, shoes, it's like, a, like, a celebrity donated his shoes to, like, I don't know. A charity or I forget like a charity of some sort and then um, the shoes got stolen and then they like got thrown off the like a upper road or whatever and then they landed up with the boy and then he got arrested and in trouble for it even though he wasn't the one who stole them they like just literally fell on him fell out of the sky yeah no, it is actually a book, yeah. Um, but obviously I'm talking about the movie version, because we just watched it, but... <laughs> it's a good movie, I just- it's not actually that bad, it's a very good movie. I just- I- I find myself getting so- even like- like- like animated Disney films stress me out so much. Like, I find myself getting so stressed at everything. When anything remotely bad- like, Finding Nemo I literally cannot watch it because it makes me feel horrible. <laughs> I hate it. <laughs> like, I don't, I can't deal with it. I need to watch, like, I need happy things, which is so stupid. But I, like, take on too much stress of the characters, and then I get, like, actually stressed on their behalf, and it's like, you're a fish. It's not that deep. It's, it's supposed to be a wholesome movie. But I, I have, like, absorbed all of your pain and stress and now I'm in pain and I'm stressed and it's not good. <laughs> um, <laughs> Charlotte, thank you for the sub. SPN, thank you for the nine months. Kimmy, thank you for the six months. Um, hey, happy birthday, Cody. Okay, hey, can I sing you a song? Uh, thank you for the bits. Little, thank you for the bits. Carly, thank you for the bits. Wild, thank you for the 27 months. Beckley, thank you for the bits. Lau, thank you for the five months. Dre, thank you for the 27 months. Plancy, thank you for the bits. Oh my goodness, thank you so much. <laughs> No, I like Pixar movies, but I do- I cry a lot at movies. <laughs> I cry a lot at movies. <laughs> um, you know what I want to watch? I want to watch Inside Out again. I think that Inside Out is one of my favorite movies of all time. I like that movie. You should, yeah, my mom does it too. My mom- my mom gets so emotional at movies. My mom literally cries at everything. Like, the dumbest things in a movie my mom's gonna cry. 100%. My mom, like, you look over and it's like, oh, that's sweet. Mom's waterworks. Like, <laughs> the average person would be like, oh, that's cute. Mom's just crying. <laughs> I cry a lot too, but she she's like, next level. <laughs> Charlotte, oh, I thanked you, didn't I? I was gonna say, Charlotte, thank you for the sub. I looked over and I was like, oh, wait, didn't I say that? Either way, thanks for the sub again. But Inside Out makes me cry a lot, but it's a good movie. I like it. But here's another example. Think, like, Lion King. I can't deal with Lion King. The, like, the bad things that happen to this little boy, I can't, well, little lion, I can't deal with it. <laughs> I, I, like, I, like, get so stressed and sad on his behalf. It, like, I, I can't watch it. Which is so dumb. I used to watch Lion King so much when I was a kid. Because my, my family and I, we would drive to Chicago to see my grandparents. I live in Orlando. So the drive to Chicago is very far. Um, like 17 hours or something, right? And it would usually take us longer because we had to keep stopping with the dogs and stuff. It was a, a very big ordeal. We would go up there for Christmas and once over the summer to see my grandparents. And we would have like a mini DVD player, right? And we had like three movies. We had like <laughs> The Incredibles, we had Lion King, we have Finding Nemo, and I, I oh and Shrek. We had Shrek. And I've seen those movies 
so many times because we just put them on and like watch them and watch them and watch them and watch them and watch them. <laughs> so I've seen them all so many times. <laughs> Um, but we would just sit in the back in this ridiculously long car ride for so long. Um, but yours was Cinderella. Oh yeah, we didn't have Cinderella. We had um, we had those though. We also had a, a SpongeBob DVD, but it had like eight episodes on it. So I've seen those particular eight episodes of SpongeBob so many times. <laughs> Label, thank you for the twelve months. Mystical, thank you for the bits. Um, Austin, Texas to Michigan every summer. Oh, God. <laughs> Sitting with Kayla, thank you for the 29 months. You had it too? Yeah. I forget which one. There was an episode in it. Oh, my God. I can't remember. There's like a time travel episode on that DVD. And that's what we had. It had a couple other ones too. But it had a time travel episode where they like went back in time. Yeah. So, <laughs> the good old days. So, wait, thank you for the five months. Um, yeah, that's the thing. Like, watching um, a lot of these, like, Disney films when you're older, it makes you realize how much the situation sucked for the people. Yeah, so, for example, Dan and I just watched, um, oh, my God, what's it called? Go Figure. It's, like, a figure skating movie, a Disney original from, like, 15, 20 years ago or something. Um, and... <laughs> I had seen it when I was a kid, but watching it again as an adult, this poor little girl wanted to be a figure skater so bad, but she like flopped at the competition. So she didn't get into the good school she wanted to go to. And so she ended up going on a hockey scholarship. So she had to be on both the hockey and the figure skating team. And she was so overworked. She was so young. And all of the girls on both teams were evil to her. Like she literally got locked in a closet and covered with paint. Like they dumped paint on her. And then she missed, like, training with her, like, idol. And I just, I, it made me feel so sad. I was like, why does this poor little girl under, under so much pressure? This is a child, and nobody cares. <sighs> and all the girls were so mean to her on both teams, and, like, the adults were putting so much pressure on her, and I just... <sighs> anyway, I felt really bad for her. It's called Go Figure. It's a Disney movie. <laughs> It's still a Disney film, but I was like, how are all these adults, like, filling this kid so much? <sighs> anyway. <laughs> Claire, thank you for the tier two eight months. Callan, thank you for the sub. Zoe, thank you for the five months. Um, but there's one called Ice Princess, too. I don't think I've seen that one, Christine. I probably have. I don't know. But we watched it together because we, um, we both have Disney+. Plus. Evan, so we literally just were like, okay, three, two, one, press play. And then we both watched it at the same time while in a Discord call. Maybe, maybe I have seen Ice Princess. I, sw I probably have and just don't remember. Ice Princess Disney. Oh, no, I've definitely seen this one. This girl... What else do I know her from? Was she in Gossip Girl? Yes, okay. <laughs> Was she like evil and Georgina? Oh, yeah. I just, I saw the picture and I had like a very negative reaction to her face. And I was like, who is that? <laughs> what? Oh, and 17 again. Oh my God. Yeah, she was at 17 again also. <laughs> but yeah, I saw her picture and I was like, ooh, her. <laughs> because she played a bad character on Gossip Girl. They're all bad characters on Gossip Girl. It's not her fault. <laughs> okay, anyway. <laughs> Zombie, thank you for the sub gift. Claire, thanks again for the tier two sub. I have not... I have not made any progress in this build. I've been live for an hour and I furnished, what, three rooms? What is wrong with me? Would I ever watch Gossip Girl with Dan? Didn't they take Gossip Girl off Netflix? I think it's off Netflix. Claire, thank you for the sub gift. Sims, thank you for the two months. Thank you both so much. 
Sad. It's on HBO now. Well, who wants to pay for HBO? <laughs> Ugh. Still on UK Netflix? Are you sure? Because Dan's sister, Caitlin, literally came in today when I was talking to them for my stream and was like, they took Gossip Girl off Netflix. I'm pretty sure it's not on Netflix in the UK either. Because I, that's what Caitlin said, and I trust Caitlin. <laughs> Eviana, thank you for the bits. Um... Oh well, it's not that good. I watched Gossip Girl when I was younger. I watched it in high school. I don't need to watch that again. <laughs> Father Paul, thank you for the fits. Have I seen Confessions of a Teenage Drama Queen? I don't think I have. I've heard of it, but I don't think I've seen it. Saswin, thank you for the fits. Um, did I watch Euphoria? I watched the- Dan and I watched the first, like, three episodes last year. And then I didn't finish it. Um, but I've seen, like, three episodes of Euphoria. So. Is Euphoria on HBO? Is that why? Did I watch it only when I had the free trial? <laughs> That's why I didn't finish it. <laughs> so I only watched three episodes. <laughs> Missy, thank you for the 15 months. Yeah. <laughs> Sounds about right. <laughs> okay um i'm gonna furnish now i can do this i can do this i'm gonna furnish the hallway because i can i like zendaya a lot too i just don't have that much time to watch a lot of tv so i haven't seen most things <laughs> um <laughs> I want a, like, long rug. That's nice. Maybe not that one. Did I like it? Yeah, I liked it then. I didn't finish it, though. Not for any reason. I just didn't have HBO anymore. <laughs> so, I don't know. I've got, there's a lot of things, like, on my list that I want to watch. That's the problem. There's too many things and there's not enough time. How are you supposed to watch everything? There's so much stuff. Um. I don't want any of these. Of course I've seen Princess Diaries. Great films. Remind me of the good old days. I haven't seen the Vampire Diaries. My sister watched the Vampire Diaries, though. Samantha. Um. <laughs> Maybe I will just use that with the blue. That's fine. Aren't you in lockdown? What, so I should just have time to watch TV all day, every day? <laughs> I'm still busy. <laughs> I'm still work from home, but I'm still working. Um, <laughs> I didn't leave my house before lockdown. <laughs> um, no, Dan, Dan doesn't stream on Sun or on Wednesdays. HGG. He doesn't stream on Wednesdays, Wednesdays or Sundays. So Dan is not live right now. He takes um, he takes Wednesdays and Sundays off. <laughs> Chloe, I've seen Criminal Minds. Um, <laughs> I watched Criminal Minds in high school. I've seen, like, I forget when I, I didn't watch all of it, but I watched like seven seasons of it though. Um, the US isn't really in lockdown, Kara. Florida's not really in lockdown at all. Frankly, everything is just open and has been this whole time. However, I don't want to get COVID and my dad has cancer, so I don't leave the house. <laughs> um, so. <laughs> yeah. But I liked Criminal Minds. I like to watch, um, murder shows. 
this sounds really dumb that I'm like, yeah, I can't watch Nemo, it stresses me out, and then, like, I listen to murder podcasts. Like, <laughs> but, um, that's where we're at. I listen to murder podcasts and, and can't watch Disney movies because they make me feel sad inside. Um, but yeah, that's where we're at, so. <laughs> I don't know. True crime's fine, but we can't deal with Finding Nemo, I guess? Yeah. I hadn't really thought about that until just now, and now I feel a little bit embarrassed. Dan must think I'm crazy. The way I'm like, oh yeah, I can't- I don't really want to watch that movie, it's gonna stress me out, and then I go and turn around and listen to murder podcasts while I'm cleaning my house. Like, how does that make sense? But that's- that's- <laughs> It's different, you know? It's fine. <laughs> Just balancing it out, right? <laughs> you know what? I've only seen Toy Story 4 once. I should watch all of the Toy Story movies again. Someone mentioned Toy Story 3. I haven't seen them in a while. I think Dan and I went to see Toy Story 4 in person. When, he w when did Toy Story 4 came out? I'm pretty sure we went to a movie theater here and saw it. It's all a blur. See? Dan hasn't been here in like a year because of the pandemic now. So I'm like, anything that happened last year, I'm like, I don't know. Maybe that, maybe he was here for that. <laughs> 2019? Yeah. Um, but, oh, when I say last year, I'm not talking about 2020. I'm talking about 2019. That's still valid. We're too early in 2021 for that. I'm not gonna sit here and talk about November like it was last year. That was a couple months ago. <laughs> um. Okay, now we actually have to do this room. Dang it. <laughs> Sorry, I just looked over at mods again, and I have the message that I put highlighted. I have that dumb can't type this message, I still have it, like, highlighted on Discord, because I copy and pasted it to you to show you. So I looked over and it was, like, right there in my face. <laughs> oh my god. Learn to type. Okay. I'm not even bad at typing. I don't know what happened. <laughs> Something did, though. Um... Maybe we could use that. That kind of works. The floor is base game. The wood flooring is base game. Yeah, and I have the audacity to make fun of Owen for, for his typos. To be fair, it is kind of funny that Owen always has typos when he does his, his shell challenge builds. Like, every time there's a good meme in the description. Stay Hubel? I mean, come on. You can't make that stuff up. Like, that's funny. <laughs> Okay, um, <laughs> sorry, Owen. Owen's not even here right now. We're making fun of him. <laughs> Wait, did Jesse say- I should watch Jesse's video on the pack. I didn't watch Jesse's video yet about her- about the trailer. I should watch it. Did she, did she say that I was gonna hate it? Because that's funny, because in my video, I was like, Jesse's gonna love this. And then hers, she was like, Kayla's gonna hate this. <laughs> Um. <laughs> That's funny. I didn't hate it that much. Just like a little bit. Um, it comes out on the 26th, right? Not next Tuesday, but the Tuesday after next Tuesday. So a couple Tuesdays left, and then we'll have the pack. I don't- this is horrible. I don't know what to do in this room. I'm- I- I'm feeling very stuck at the moment. Shelly, I only missed one upload. <laughs> it was one day I didn't upload. <laughs> I've just had really- I'm not doing well right now and I was crying all day and I couldn't record, okay? <laughs> oh. I'm, I'm still uploading on Wednesdays. There's, we've just been going through it this week. 
sometimes you're just not really cut out to, to be Lil Simsy, you know? Um, and usually I'm more ahead on uploads, so I don't miss them when bad things like this happen, but bad things keep happening, so I'm not ahead on uploads. And then I didn't post today. Usually when I cry all day, it's like, oh, good thing I recorded yesterday, but now, no, <laughs> didn't do that. <laughs> it's fine, we can laugh about it, it's fine. I'm fine. That's ugly. I wanna, I don't, these rooms are not good. I don't know what to do with them. Uh, you see, it's hard to call it a day off because I sit here and I try to record all day and then I get nothing worthy of uploading, you know? So it's not like I like took the day off. <laughs> I still tried to make a video all day, but it just wasn't going well. And I was like making bad videos. So I didn't post it. <laughs> you know what I mean? No, you're fine, Jelly, don't worry. Everyone's been asking all day. Sometimes it, it's one of those things where it's like, it feels like every other message someone asks about it. And then, you know, it's not your fault. You didn't mean any harm, obviously. It's not a bad thing to ask. Um, but, or is that what I'm from? These windows are both from a university. I like them, they're kind of fun. Um, thank you for the two months, Moon. Thank you for the five months, as friend. Thank you for the 35 months. Sasson, thank you for the bits. Just Bridget, thank you for love months. Allie, thank you for the prime sub. V Claire, thank you for the sub gift. Matthew, thank you for the sub. Ellie, Kyle, no, Kylie, who's Ellie? Edison, Wall, Simpson. Oh, I'm sorry. Thank you guys all for the resubs and stuff. Um, uh, you're fine, Callista. I, I don't know what you're talking about, but we're going to try to keep <laughs> news out of the chat, I guess. Um... Just for the record, people people don't mean any harm doing this either, but one of the things that happens a lot in Twitch chats is like something big will happen. A lot of times it's like maybe a celebrity dies. That's not what happened now, but maybe like a celebrity dies and then people hear the news and then the first thing they do is come to like somebody who's live and tell them. Um, and like when some sort of tragedy happens or like something somebody dies, something bad happens, the last thing you want to have to do is like process that news and then also react to it in front of like thousands of people. Um, so I know you don't mean any harm when you, when you do that, but like, maybe try to avoid being the one to break that news to a streamer. <laughs> I don't know what happened. I don't know what you're talking about, but, um, uh, just in general, for future reference, if anything bad ever happens, um, you, you don't want to have to like make people react to that live. You don't want them to find out something horrible happened in Twitch chat and then like have to uh, then react and process to it in front of everybody. Like, um... Mm -hmm. Okay, but anyway, that goes- I was talking about, like, tragedies and, like, celebrity death and stuff. Like, I'm- I, I- I can think of so many examples of, like, really horrible things happening and then all of a sudden people, like, flood Twitch chats and tell- Did you hear about so-and-so? So-and-so died and it's like, what? And then you have to, you know, suddenly then you're forced to- to, like, react to that news in front of everybody and, like, that's just not fun. <laughs> um, so. Okay. Don't, it's not bad though, me. I don't know what we're talking about. <laughs> I don't even know what we're, I'm just talking about, a, I'm not talking, I'm talking about a very specific, like, hypothetical situation. <laughs> um, okay. Um, nothing even, <laughs> just talking about this possibility. I don't know, anyway. Cookie, thank you for the Prime sub. Thank you so much. I really appreciate that. Um, okay, I think... <laughs> we'll probably play Devil May again at some point, C-Mac, I assume. Um, I don't know when, but probably eventually. Can't imagine that we wouldn't, but I don't want to become a Dead by Daylight streamer, so I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna stream Dead by Daylight every day, but we'll, we'll definitely play again at some point, I would assume. It was fun. I want to try best chocolate. 
dark chocolate. Milk and white chocolate are nasty. I'm sorry. That's an unpopular opinion, but I, white chocolate has got to be the grossest thing in the entire world. Hate. 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 Cannot deal with white chocolate. I will not eat it. Ugh. I like dark chocolate the best. Um, but, <laughs> um, oh, that's actually kind of good. You think white chocolate is delicious? I like the dark chocolate is bitter. I hate white chocolate. It's like sickly sweet. Ugh, gross. I've always hated white chocolate. Like I would like full on spit it out when I was a kid. You know, sometimes when they have like triple chocolate cookies, they'll put like dark chocolate, milk chocolate and white chocolate chips in them. I would like not want to eat it because it would have white chocolate in it. I don't know why, but I was like real anti white chocolate when I was younger. <laughs> Little Dika, thank you for the bits. Um, I don't know. It depends how what percentage dark chocolate do I usually go. I don't know. 100% dark chocolate is really, um, really bitter. Like that's not a that's not a preference. You you don't want like like dark 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 chocolate. But I do like dark chocolate. Like 70 75, like you said, is good. Um, lost time. Thank you for the four months. Gross. Thank you for the eight months. Lori, thank you for the bits. Um. You just walked into your bedroom with your phone and a cup of tea. You went to throw your phone onto your bed and use the wrong hand. I threw my tea all over my bed. Oh my god, I can so picture this happening. This exact- I can- I can see the exact situation in my brain. And I'm so sorry. And like, how, the way you would just stand there afterward, like, did I really just do that? Did I really just do that? <laughs> I'm so sorry. That reminds me of this time, my dad, he was walking out to the patio, he had like a, his dinner plate and like a glass of water or something, right? So he was holding his glass of water and he set his phone, dumb mistake, he set his phone on top of the glass and then was like walking to the patio with his food, phone goes, whoop, straight into the glass of water. I think that's really funny. <laughs> he kind of deserved it, but it was bad. It was not a good thing, but it was kind of funny. Like, how do you, and like the fact you, you can't even justify that. Like you, you knew it was going to happen. What are you doing putting your phone on top of a glass of a drink? Like, and then the fact that it fell straight in and you just put, you just basically just put your phone in a glass of water. <laughs> Devastating. <laughs> I can show you the outside. Yeah. So this is what the house looks like. It was supposed to be inspired by, um, no, this. <laughs> it was supposed to be inspired by this. Um, and it kind of, it kind of looks like it. That was the vibe we were going for. Um, and then the outside the back, we just, we just guessed and picked what we wanted it to look like, but it looks really pretty. It's very cozy and cool back here. And then on the inside, did I, that's painted, yeah. Anyway, the inside has, a lot of bedrooms, there's what, one downstairs, four upstairs, so it's a five bedroom house that also has an entire gym and an office. <laughs> um, but it's a fancy house. I don't like the interior that much, I don't think I did the best job with the interior, but I like the outside, so. Yeah, no, it's big. I probably wouldn't want to live in this house. I wouldn't, I probably wouldn't want to play in this house. It's really big, like to a fault. I found the house, no, God, so that's Dr. Lupo from the Dr. Lupo stream. <laughs> the, the, I found this house on, um, I found this house, ju I just Googled, like, I don't know. I, like, Googled a house or something. Anyway, hi, Dr. Lupo. <laughs> that's because we made, um, remember during the, we were on Dr. Lupo's stream for that Build Against Cancer charity event. And before we were building the house on his stream, we like made Dr. Lupo and his wife and their kid in The Sims so we could build them a house on stream for the charity event. I had a picture of them in my OBS because of that. <laughs> but Charlene, I think I was looking at like some sort of website, like some sort of floor plan website and just like scrolling around. I don't know. Your partner dropped her phone in the toilet, told her dad it was dropped in the sink, and her dad put it in his mouth to blow in it and try to fix it. Ew! Oh my god. No, 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 no. Do you know what? 
at EA Play a couple years ago, I broke my phone in the most dramatic way. I had never had this happen before. So my phone, it broke, right? And like this, like, it was like turning black slowly. Like there was like liquid spreading from like the top corner. So it was like slowly like turning black from there. And like this like liquid was pulling out. It was bizarre, but I broke it because I was standing in the lobby of the hotel, right? And I was, we were waiting to go somewhere because we were at this like Sims event. I was holding my water bottle and I was holding my phone. And then I was like trying to get something out of my bag or whatever, I forget. And then I, I dropped them both. The water bottle lands, breaks, like the cap breaks, on like the top of the bottle breaks, and water spills everywhere. And then my phone slides across the lobby, like, like, f like flew across the lobby of the hotel and then was broken. And I made this loud noise because my big water bottle, like, you know, lands on the floor and like breaks and makes this whole noise. And then my phone broke. I, oh my God. And then my phone was broken and I was in Los Angeles. Like it was just, I don't even know how it happened. I don't know how it happened, but that's what happened. Like, how did, how did I even manage that? <sighs> Francis, thank you for the 27 months. And then like everybody, obviously, cause it makes this like loud banging noise. Cause the water bottle lands on the floor. Everybody like turns and looks at you and you're like, <laughs> I'm sorry. Now there's water on the floor of the lobby. Like, oh. Anyway, it was not good. I haven't actually Indigo. I've only I've only broken my phone screen. Well, only like three times, um, which is like pretty bad. But it's not that bad. <laughs> I don't know. That happened. Um, well, I had a phone get stolen once too when I was in. That was stressful. When I was in Paris with Dan, my phone got stolen. This was in like March of 2019, so it was like a while ago now but my phone got stolen. And the last thing that you want to have happen to you when you're in a foreign country is have your phone get stolen. Um, luckily I was with him, so it was okay. Um, and then I like bought another one in London, which was annoying and horrible, but like, what do you, I had to get home. Like, what do you, <laughs> you need a phone. So, but you have to pay, like, it's so much more expensive to buy Apple products in the UK versus the US. Like it's ridiculous. Um, but I needed a phone. And I didn't have a SIM card either, um, but it was okay because then, like, at least when I flew home, I had, like, Wi-Fi. So I was, like, in the airport, like, I'm messaging my dad, like, can you please come pick me up at the airport? Like, <sighs> anyway. Oh, yeah, one time, well, I didn't lose my bag or wallet. I, <laughs> when we were at VidCon a couple years ago, um, I was with, like, Steph um, and my friends Callie and Zoe. You guys know Steph, oh, Sims, Steph. The four of us were at VidCon a couple years ago. Um, and we went shopping at the Grove. We like took an Uber to the Grove. We get there and I was like, oh my God, I don't have my wallet. Like my, my money is gone. And so we were like running around thinking like to leave it in the Uber. Like, did I, did we like, like call Uber? Like we think left the wallet in the Uber. Oh my God. Um, turns out it was in the hotel the whole time. I just didn't bring it. It had like fallen out of my bag and I just didn't bring it with us. But like, I thought I had left it somewhere in like in the car or like maybe in the hotel lobby or like at a, uh, like did I leave it like on a counter somewhere like in the bathroom, like where, no. It was just in the hotel. But I thought it might've been when we were there, but I was like, we should, I don't know what to do. Like my wallet is gone. Like how do, <laughs> uh. um, anyway, that was bad. <laughs> that was, it worked out best case scenario, but it was very stressful at the time. Cause I mean like, that's, again, you're on the other side of the country you don't have any money? Like, <laughs> how are you gonna get home? I would have been okay. Like, I could have, I don't know, like, but I just, it, very stressful. Plus I was like 17. Cause that would have been in July. I wouldn't have turned 18 yet. So I, I don't know, scary. <laughs> Music, thank you for the bits. Oh, that was a while ago. That's weird. Um, but. No, your friend got her phone stolen, all the travel info on it. That's so stressful. Yeah, I'm really glad that like when my phone got stolen, I was like with Dan. Um, Cause that, you know, like it's just easier that way when you have like a built-in person that <laughs> like you have a partner that you're with, so you're okay. You can sort of share it, you'll be fine. Um, but that was really stressful. So. Yeah, no, but that's probably the worst time to, to have a phone loss sort of situation in a foreign country. Also one where you don't speak the language, <laughs> like that's not good. 
<laughs> that is not good at all. Um, but anyway, it worked out. Everything was okay. It was fine. Honestly, I reacted surprisingly well to that. I didn't have like a, like I didn't cry or freak out or anything. I was very calm. I remained calm and I found a solution to the problem, which is a miracle because you know, you probably expect worse from me. No, <laughs> Ludo, I'm so sorry. That's so stressful. Oh. Yeah, pickpocketing is a big problem. I don't even know how it happened. I have this memory of being in the train stick because I remember having my phone on the train and I remember getting off the train and having someone bump into me and then we went to McDonald's and then I no longer have my phone. So I'm pretty sure that that person that bumped into me took it from me, but I don't, like, I didn't realize until I was way too long gone, obviously. I mean, you can't do anything about it anyway, but... Um, I do have this memory of someone bumping into me, so would assume that would be it. <laughs> but it was a really busy train station, you know, there was like a million people in there and then no phone. So <laughs> I had it in my bag though. That was the weird part is that it was like zipped in my bag, but maybe it wasn't. And I just thought it was, but like I keep my phone like zipped in my bag. So I really don't understand. Like I that's why it was so bizarre that it was just gone, that I was like, did I leave it on the train? But like, I remember putting it like, I, I don't know, maybe I left it on the train, who knows? But it was gone, so. Your phone was stolen out of your hand once? Oh my God. But yeah, they practice, like they, you know, pickpockets are good at what they do, so. <laughs> One time my grandpa got pickpocketed <laughs> because this lady at a baseball game pretended that she had dropped something and like lost something in the trash. Um, or like maybe drops something, I forget, but she was like, oh, I dropped this. And he was like, oh, let me help you look for it. So he like bent over and she took his wallet out of his back pocket. <laughs> but he was at like a, a baseball game or something in Chicago and somebody asked for help. And so he like le leant over to, to help her pick something up or something. And then they took his wallet out of his back pocket. <laughs> it's not funny. It was bad, but it's kind of funny. And my, my aunt got her purse stolen. She was like sitting at a restaurant and had her purse like on the back of the chair, but she was sitting like out, outside at a restaurant and somebody just walked by and took it and kept walking like right in front of them. <laughs> but she just took it and walked, um, which is not good at all. Terrible, but kind of funny. They just, they just took it and kept going. Yeah. So. But she had, like, she was also, she'd been, because she's from Oregon, they were in Chicago. So that was bad, because she didn't have her phone or her wallet, and they were in a different state, like. Anyway, obviously ended up being fine, but it's not ideal. It's a horrible, stressful thing to have happen to you then. You gotta, like, cancel all your cards, and, like, if you had cash on you, like, get a new phone. Like, especially when it's your whole purse. You got so much stuff in there, and then it's all gone. Like, <laughs> oh. Um. But anyway, it ended up being okay. <laughs> Once your grandma got lost in Sweden during a cruise tour. Oh, that's stressful. <laughs> I'm glad she's okay. The last thing you want is to have like your elderly grandparent get separated from the group and get lost <laughs> in Sweden. Oh no. Um. Oh yeah, definitely. Like you gotta be careful with your um, with your stuff when you're like in crowded places and cities and stuff, right? Um, you shouldn't really leave your chair, like your your purse across your chair anyway, you know? Um, but I don't know. I mean, you think it's gonna be fine. Like you just like, you aren't paying attention for one second and then all of a sudden somebody walks by and snatches your purse. I haven't had my purse stolen, thank God. I don't really, I don't carry a big purse though. I mostly carry like a small bag that would just fit my, like my phone and my wallet and like keys, you know? I don't really carry like big bags with like a ton of stuff, but you don't want to lose your phone, wallet, or keys. So, <laughs> still bad. <laughs> um, anyway, you dropped your phone overboard on a cruise once? <laughs> <laughs> that's not funny. I'm sorry. That's not funny at all. Oh, that's horrible. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> you can't imagine Kayla with a purse? What does that mean? Everybody carries a bag around. <laughs> I don't have like a fancy purse. I have like a Target purse that I, is a small bag that I carry around. What is, what do you mean you can't match me with a purse? Everybody carries a purse around. 
<laughs> not everybody, but it's nice to have a bag. You put your phone in there, you get your chapstick, you know, you get your mask and such. Um, I don't know. I prefer to have, like, not have to carry a bag around, but, um, for the most part, I like to have a mini backpack. That's my preferred method of, of bag. <laughs> I, I like to have a mini backpack as opposed to, like, a purse type of bag. Um, cause then I can put my water bottle in it and stuff. You can get all the things covered, like water bottle, everything in a backpack. And you gotta hold it around. I like, I'm, I'm, I'm very pro backpack. Um, but sometimes you can't really bring a mini backpack around, you know, <laughs> but I don't, I don't go much many places now. So I don't really carry anything around <laughs> these days, but, um, anyway, just jeans and a jacket. Yeah. Fair enough. I live in Florida. So, <laughs> we don't really have, we don't really have jackets around here. <laughs> What's a jacket? I don't, I don't know. Yeah, I couldn't, I don't know. <laughs> Just got a new mini backpack? Oh, that's fun. Yeah, I'm very pro mini backpack. Good, good type of bag. Especially for like, I mean, I, I'm t talking about this, like I go to theme parks often, but like, if you're going to like, Universal, Having a mini backpack, like, to fit in, the, it fits in their little mini lockers for rides, so that's good. But you can still have, like, your water bottle, your sunscreen, your, like, wallet and keys and stuff, and it all goes in a little bag, and then it's easy. And then you have water and sunscreen, and that's what you need around these parts. So, <laughs> why don't I go often? Because theme parks are expensive, and I don't really feel the need to go to them very often. I mean, I'll probably get an annual pass once, um, once Dan moves here. Maybe just like for a year so that he can experience it again. I've had annual passes a couple times in my life when I was younger. Um, but these days, like, I don't really feel, especially right now, pandemic and all, I don't really feel a desire to, like, go to theme parks all the time, you know? Um, I, I live in Orlando, you know? Like, I don't really need to go to Disney every weekend, so... But maybe, maybe it's some. We've talked about this before, but, like, when Dan moves here, we probably, we kind of want to get a theme park annual pass just so that he can, like experience it. Oh, the theme parks are open. They were barely closed, Queen of the North. <laughs> it's kind of scary. That's why I don't want to go there. <laughs> but they were like barely ever close. Um, <laughs> Trouble, thank you for the two months, Sims fan. Thank you for the bits. You've lost your keys so many times. I've never lost my keys. Um, <laughs> knock on wood, right? Like I've never actually lost my keys. Uh, Miller, Music in June, Shmelly, uh, Francis, thank you guys, Alice, Victor, oh god, Lost Time Lord, Grimmy, how many, do I, how much did I miss? Thank you for all the resubs. That was 17 minutes ago, I just been talking about myself for this whole time. Grim, I'm so sorry. Thank you for the resub. Yeah, I never lost my keys, though. Um, thank god. <laughs> you know what I have done? Is, um, cause I recently, like, my parents had my, like, my car keys, because they had my car for a while. And so I took my mailbox key off of my car keys. Because um, I was like, oh, I don't want to like, you know, I need to go to my mail. So I'm going to like take the key off my key ring. Um, and then like they have my keys, whatever, it was fine. Well, I walked all the way to my, like I got my keys back. Walk all the way to my mailbox, holding my key ring. And I was like, okay, time to get the mail. My mailbox key was not on the key ring. So I had gone all the way over there. Brought my keys, but not the one key I needed. Had to come all the way back, and then go back again. <laughs> and it's happened like twice. Isn't that so stupid? <laughs> it's so annoying. <laughs> but you just think like, oh, grab the keys and go. And these keys don't have the right key. <sighs> anyway, it's not that big of a deal. It's just annoying. No, my mailbox, um is not next to my house. We, my mailboxes, they have like, you know how like apartment buildings have mailboxes all in one room? Like there, you have like a little mailbox and a key for your number or whatever. Um, my neighborhood has mailboxes like all together at the front of the neighborhood. Um, and you walk over to them. So it's kind of far away. <laughs> it's not that far, but it's like a walk. You know, I have to walk like all the way across my neighborhood to go over there. Um, but. <laughs> Um, no, not a gated community. Dear God, no. <laughs> what do you mean gated community? I just, I live in a townhouse. <laughs> it's like a glorified apartment complex. <laughs> Chloe, thank you for the two months. Um, Team Stevenson, thank you for the tier three sub gift. Trouble, thank you for the two months. Um, 
But yeah, we don't have our own mailboxes across. Um, also, there's a rule in Florida, as far as I'm aware, that any, like, new buildings, like, new um, neighborhood being built since, like, 2010 or something, they have to have the mailboxes all together instead of in front of people's houses um, to make it easier for the people to deliver mail because they can do it all together in one space instead of having to, like, go to individual houses and put mail in. They're trying to make it faster um, and uh, <laughs> do that. So any, like, new neighborhoods that are propping up in Florida around these parts they'll have mailboxes all together. So, packages are different. If you have a pack, they, well, they have, um, it, like, sort of like apartments. I don't know where you live, but if things are being delivered by USPS, um, it'll go to the mailbox. If it's small, there's, like, bigger boxes that, like, they'll put a key in your mailbox and then, like, to, like, number eight, and then you open number eight and then your package is in there. Um, but if you're getting anything from, like, FedEx, it comes to your house. But the, the mail, like, the US Postal Service goes to the mailbox. Um, but any, like, like, U.S., um, like, sorry, any, like, FedEx or, like, UPS or whatever, that just comes to your house. But, like, any packages from USPS will go to the mailboxes. So. Um. So. <laughs> why is this so fascinating to me? <laughs> That's how the mail works. Um. <laughs> but, yeah, you gotta walk over there and get it. But. But so, like, things from Amazon that you order will come to your house, for the most part. But if you buy something off of, like, Etsy and they ship it with USPS, it's probably going to be in the mailbox. But if you get something, like, really big, then they'll still bring it to your house. It won't fit in the mailboxes, but... Um. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> um, it's This is a very common thing. It's not that weird. But people seem to think it's, like, so bizarre that my mail isn't, like, in front of my house. But, no. <laughs> I don't know. This is just so normal to me. Like, <laughs> but maybe it's weird. I don't know. Um, but yeah. Oh yeah, it's also nice because then your stuff's like locked in a box. If you're not home, then it's like locked in behind a key. So nobody can take it. Even if you are home, you never know. But then it's like, it's put in your, you have the key, it's in your mailbox. Like no one can take your stuff. Um, but I've never had any. It kind of like, kind of like how it is in college. There's a big room to get all your packages. Yeah. Yeah, I've got a mail key, Gemma, to my mailbox. Um, it's not that weird. <laughs> I assume, but like most of you probably, if you live in like an apartment building that has them all together, you probably have a key to your mailbox too. Um, but anyway. <laughs> It's not that weird, I swear. Yeah, and then, like, a lot of places still have mailboxes that are, like, you still have, like, mail that comes through a hole in your front door. But I've I've never lived in a place like that. Never around here. My grandparents' house was like that before they sold it. Um, they had, like, a, a mail slot in their front door that the mail would come through. Dan's house is like that. But we, we don't have that around here. <laughs> there is nothing like that around here. <laughs> um, but... Mail slot, see, it seems very nice to just get the mail, like, shoved through your front door. It used to scare me when I was at, um, when I was at Dan's house in Portsmouth. I don't know why, but it was just, it was, like, so loud. The where he, where his parents live is not like this, but at his, at his house in Portsmouth, the mail was so loud. Like, you just hear the slot open, and it, like, slams, and it's like, why is this so dramatic? And they just throw all these junk mail on your floor. <laughs> <laughs> Anyway, um, <laughs> just ads everywhere on your front door. You live in Portsmouth too? Nice. Dan went to University of Portsmouth. So, it used to scare you? Yeah. And the thing is, you know what it is. Like, you know what, what it is. It's just the mail. Like, you know why it's coming. But, it's still loud. I don't know. <laughs> Any kind of noise that happens when you're home by yourself, it's like, it's scary, no matter what. <laughs> I don't know. Um, but anyway, that's how mail works. Ava, thank you for the stuff. <laughs> Your ex boyfriend of the University of Portsmouth, really? That's really funny. Um, anyway. <laughs> Portsmouth in the UK, not in Virginia, no, not... <laughs> <laughs> Portsmouth in the United Kingdom. University of Portsmouth in the United Kingdom. Not Portsmouth in the US. Although that would be a lot easier if it was. Because then I wouldn't have to worry about trying to get a visa for Dan to move here. Life would be so much better. Is there one in New Hampshire too? 
No, he just went to uni there. He's not from Portsmouth originally. Um, so. <laughs> um, but anyway. What was I gonna say? We've just been talking about mail for like 20 minutes. Dan has a film degree. So. <laughs> He went to the University of Portsmouth and he studied film. Do you guys know Taz? Um, she's a sim streamer. She also went to the University of Portsmouth at the exact same time as Dan. And when we were, I went to Dan's graduation a couple years ago, like a year and a half ago now or whatever. And when I was there, somebody tweeted me and they were like, hey, are you at the University of Portsmouth graduation right now? And I was like, yeah. <laughs> And it was her! Turns out she went there, now she's a sim streamer. Um, but <laughs> what a weird, like, small- Because I remember that happening. I remember her, like, being like, Hey, are you- do you- Are you at the University of Portsmouth right now? Because I don't think people really knew that I was dating Dan at the time, because we didn't really talk about it publicly too much. And, like, what- What is a sims YouTuber doing one in Portsmouth at all? You're from Florida. But also, why are at the- Why are you at the University of Portsmouth graduation? <laughs> What are you doing here? So valid for her to be like, is that really? <laughs> Why are you here, Kayla? <laughs> Do Stan's graduation, but <laughs> Smurf, thank you for the two months. Um, of all the places, I feel like you wouldn't expect to see a. You know, you wouldn't expect to see any YouTuber at your graduation. You know, like you wouldn't you wouldn't expect to come across a YouTuber you watch at your own university graduation, especially in a different country, like. <laughs> <laughs> um, but it was- it was Dan's graduation and I was there because of that, so. I'm gonna listen to the gallery because I forgot to. What did I call it? The unfurnished version? Tudor Mansion Unfurnished. Okay, well that's not helpful. I guess I'll just call it Tudor Mansion. How many- it's five bedrooms. Oh, I forget how many bathrooms it is. Well, Donya, that's because every- I- listen, I was not very secretive about Dan on Twitch. Um, I didn't tell anybody that we were dating until we've been together for like a year on the internet. Um, but I definitely joked about it a lot. Like, I definitely like, um, teased it. And also like, I don't know, we talked every day. Like, and he was in my chat all the time and I would make jokes about him all the time. Like, it was- I wasn't like secretive about it on the internet, but- I didn't talk about him on YouTube. I think it's sort of smart when you're in a position like that where like you have a following on the internet. You don't want to put the other person through that <laughs> until like, you know, it's been a while. Um, so I didn't talk about it for a long time. I've been there for like three years now, spaghetti almost. So I would bully him and call him my enemy all the time. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Edison, thank you for the bits. Yeah, the last thing you want to do is go through like a public breakup and like be like, I got a boyfriend and then two weeks later be like, oops, never mind. You know, like that's not the kind of, <laughs> you don't want to have to like go through that publicly. It's better to deal with that privately. Um, obviously there comes a point where like you don't want to have to keep it a secret anymore, but um, it's better when it's like <laughs> been a while. <laughs> Cause you don't want to have that happen like two weeks on, you know, um, so. <laughs> yeah, and plus I would go fly to the UK like all the time and be like, oh, I'm going to visit some friends now. Hmm. <laughs> PG, thank you for the bits. Smurf, thank you for the two months. Chaos, thank you for the nine months. Ty, thank you for the prime sub. Thank you guys so much. Um, but anyway. <laughs> okay, um, how many bathrooms was it? Wait, there's one bathroom. I need to check again. I can't see. Two bathrooms. Three. Four bathrooms. There's four bathrooms, five bedrooms. I missed your bids, Father Bold? Oh, I did. What is wrong with me? Maybe I just didn't read them out loud. I saw them. I thought I read them. Maybe, um, I haven't had many packages delivered to the wrong address, um, but I have had one of my neighbor's things get delivered here once. There's five? Oh, five bedrooms, five bathrooms. Well, I've had one time one of my neighbor's things was brought here, but I just, 
put it on their porch. Um, I'm not getting off stream yet, Cindy, no, don't worry. Um, oh yeah, <laughs> when University came out, I was in Dan's house when the trailer for University dropped, and I was like, I'm at my friend's house in England. But I, you, I, people on Twitch knew at that point, but I didn't talk about it on YouTube yet. Um, so I was like, oh yeah, I'm at my, f I'm at my friend's house in England right now. I was at Dan's parents' house. <laughs> Recording the reaction video from his PC. So thank you for the 15 months. Oh, that was horrible. Recording a video from his house, I was so embarrassed. I've never felt more uncomfortable recording a video in my entire life. Like, I- I mean, I was at his parents' house. And like, so- like, his brother, his brother's fiance, his sister, his parents, they were all home. And I was like, oh, it's university. Like, try to react to this trailer. Oh, I was so awkward in that video, probably. I haven't watched it back in a while, but I was so nervous to record that because they could all hear me. <laughs> they don't care. They knew I was a YouTuber, but... Um... <laughs> Sierra, yeah, I checked my P.O. box. So thank you for the 15 months, Sydney. Thank you for the four months. Thank you all so much. Um... <laughs> We can pull it up in a second. Let me finish uploading this. Um, Tudor Mansion. I built this based on a photo I saw on the internet. That is the truth. It's probably not that bad. I'm being really dramatic about it. It's like not that deep. Um, come on, come on, come on, come on. I can't comment on my video. I mean, my post, did it even upload? Oh no. I didn't get first comment because it was broken. That's truly devastating. Okay, Lil Simsy University React. What did I? Ew, the thumbnail is so ugly. Oh my God, I'm so embarrassed. Sorry. Oh, this, it's gonna be, it's filmed so weird because his stupid, oh my God, look at the, like the filter on his OBS. It's terrible. <laughs> And the fake brick wallpaper in that room. He didn't- that's just been there forever. He didn't even put that there. It was just there. Um. Anyway. This is big. The Sims 4 University trailer is about to drop in like a minute. And I'm about to react to it. I don't like Lil Simsy. I like it already. I- I already know it's gonna be- Oh, Go you can't see my face. Sorry. Already yet. It tried to start playing. You can tell I'm being quiet because I was embarrassed. No, he wasn't in the room. I didn't let him. I made him leave. October 22nd, tw that wasn't even that long ago. <laughs> but I was so quiet because I was so embarrassed. Um, but anyway, they don't, don't look at it. It's awkward because it was a long time ago and I was in someone else's house and I was embarrassed to record a video. It probably gets better towards Interest, the end. Finding classes in biology. The more I get like into it, you know, it sounds less awkward. I don't want to watch it. I'm embarrassed. No, it's not. This is his parents' house. This is his bedroom at his parents' house. He, he switched rooms. He, um, so his, he used to have this bedroom and then, cause his brother and his brother's fiance lived there too. And then, um, when they moved out, he took their room and then his sister, Caitlin moved into this room and they redid it. So this, this weird wallpaper isn't there anymore and stuff. They like actually like repainted and, and redid the room, got new carpet in this room. Um, <laughs> once his brother moved out, they like swapped bedrooms. Um, my last name isn't Simsy. My last name is Sims HGG. Um, my, my childhood nickname is Simsy though. But my last name isn't Simsy, that would be weird. <laughs> um, but anyway, that that is my name, yes. Okay. Well, that's embarrassing. First name Lil, last name Simsy. Yep. <laughs> yep. I could legally change it to Simsy. I don't really want to do that. The idea of changing my name causes me a lot of stress. Like, I don't want to have to go through and change everything. Like, you gotta change everything. Like, all your, like, your passport, like, your license, like, all your bank stuff, ev everything. Ugh. Why would you want to do that? Yeah, and I was never planning on changing my name, but I'm really never gonna change my name. <laughs> it's such a pain. 
Oh yeah, and getting used to a new signature. Oh my god, I forgot about that. Yeah, no, I'm never gonna, I was never gonna change my name. My last name is literally Sims. I know it sounds like a lie, it's not a lie. My last name is literally Sims. Um, always has been. Like, why would I want to change that? <laughs> um, I also like having a short name. Like, it, it's just easier that way. Like, when I was growing up, um, a lot of times, like, our school usernames, like, for things, would be, like, your first initial and the first four letters of your last name. So my username was always just K Sims. Because that's just my name. And that's so nice. Like, that makes just, it's just so much easier that way. Short, sweet, to the point. Dan's last name is so long. <laughs> um, but anyway. For, like, five and four letter name, like, that's really easy, so. Um, anyway, I wouldn't, I don't know. I don't want to change my last name. Even if and when I get married, I don't really want to. But I always felt that way when I was growing up, too. I was like, why should I have to change my name <laughs> when I was younger? Um, so... Yours is Joy. That's a good last name. Short and sweet, but, um, <laughs> yeah, I'm sorry, Hex, that you had to go through that. They don't make it easy for you. I'm really sorry. Um, you're so lucky. Not only is my first name spelled wrong, but I have a long last name. <laughs> yeah, uh, Messy Simmer. Messy's name is Kayla, but spelled differently than mine. K-A-E-L-A. -E um, which is a nice spelling. I just, mine is better, but I only feel that way because it's my name, so. <laughs> but, but Messy, I like your name. There's another one in chat that has the same spelling, um, but I like the way your name is spelled. I just think that mine, personally, as a K-A-Y-L-A, -A, I think that K-A-Y-L-A -A is better. <laughs> um. But yeah, my name's also just easy. Like, I don't get my name mispronounced ever. Like, how are you gonna mispronounce Kayla Sims? Well, I get called Kyla a lot, but that's not that bad. Like, Dan's last name, for some reason, it's Grenander. People cannot pronounce it, for whatever reason. At his graduation, they even had been told how to pronounce it, they still said it wrong. <laughs> it's Grenander. Like, it's not that deep, but everybody just says it wrong. No matter what. They look at it and they get nervous because it's kind of long, so they get kind of scared. They're like, oh no, what does that say? But, no, it's granola? Okay. <laughs> I just texted him that. I said Dan Granola to him on Discord. That'll show him. Um, but anyway, at his, at his graduation, they're like, Dan Granotter. Well, they said it with more British accent. I don't want to. But they said Grenade instead of Grenander. And it's like, Grenade? Where'd you even get that? How did you come up with that? Like, I don't understand. <laughs> um, it was funny. I, Because I was sitting with his parents. It was just me and his mom and his dad. And we both, we like, all of us we were like, oh my god. Because we were joking, like, they're going to say it wrong. Just you wait. They're going to say it wrong. Oh, here he comes. They're gonna say it wrong. And then they say Granada. We're like, oh my. They said it wrong. <laughs> I, I like filmed with my phone. I filmed um, him like walking across the stage and you can hear me giggling in the background because I was laughing at how they said his name wrong. Yeah. <laughs> Signer mate, thank you for the pits. <laughs> you have 19 letters in your name, uh, but your middle name is just May, M-A-E. That's really funny. And you get told it's spelled wrong? Really? I'm sorry, that's annoying. M-A-E isn't that uncommon, I don't think. My middle name is Marie. Like, you can't get more simple than that. Like, <laughs> Lisa, thank you for the 16 months. Um, but it's a, it's like a family name. My mom, my grandma, everybody's got Marie as their middle name. But, um, my middle name is just Marie. <laughs> That's like everybody's middle name, you know? It's one of those like Marie, Lee, like these names, everybody's middle name. We all have them. Honestly, Grace, pretty common middle name too. Lynn, yeah, that one, yeah. We know, we all have the same middle name. <laughs> Messy says Lynn, yeah, see? <laughs> Di, thank you for the bits. Alexis, thank you for the bits. 
Um, Lisa, thank you for the 16 months. I really appreciate that. Thank you so much. <laughs> And you can fish in Stardew, I'm glad. Do you know what, in Stardew, I am very close to getting the fishing achievement for catching a legendary fish. So in Stardew Valley, you have to catch all the fish for an achievement, right? And there's five like legendary fish that are kind of hard to catch and have like very specific circumstances for them to spawn. Like you can only catch one of them in the spring, in the rain, in a very specific spot, right? Um, and I've caught all of them except for the winter fish and the spring fish, because I'm not in winter or spring yet. But I'm very close to catching all of the fish, and then I'm gonna get the achievement, and a star drop. So, the spring one's the hardest one, isn't it? It's called The Legend. So. You need to catch an octopus? Is that the last one you have to catch? You have all the legendary fish and you don't have the octopus? That's, that's kind of funny. <laughs> oh, other update. I have it up. My, so, well, I don't need to show you because it's just, it's, it's an empty iPad. I bought my grandparents an iPad. So my, my elderly grandparents, um, my grandma turns 90 in March. My grandpa is 88, almost 89. Um, my grandparents are very old and very, very not good at technology. Like my grandpa has a, a, my uncle's old laptop and he checks his email once a week on Sundays. They have an old flip phone they share because they don't know how to use cell phones. They're not good with it, but they need to have one for like safety purposes. So they both have this one that they share. They're very much landline people. My grandparents are, are not good at technology at all. Well, obviously because of COVID, we can't go see them. Um, so we're trying to think of ways to like facilitate like Zoom call type stuff with them. Um, but like my uncles have to be there to do it and like it's still kind of awkward and not good. So I was like, mom, what if I buy them an iPad, get it all set up for them, put like our contacts in it so that we can FaceTime grandma and grandpa. <laughs> Um, so I had it like, it just came. So I was like yesterday starting to set it up and like get everybody's contacts in. I was like, I'm going to delete every app that is not necessary. Like even like the email app. No, every app that is not like FaceTime and messages and contacts, like everything that is not absolutely necessary, deleting it. Like we're going to make this as simple as possible <laughs> because they don't understand how to use technology at all. Um, so I'm <laughs> I'm kind of excited about it. I hope they like it. Um, but that's what you did to Mary's iPad. Yeah, I can imagine. <laughs> um, but then I can like write him out some instructions. My uncle lives up there. So hopefully he can show him how to use it too. Um, but all they're going to have to do is put their email or no, their, iP their iPad, what am I their Wi-Fi. All they have to do is change it to their Wi-Fi and then it should be good to go. You know? So... <laughs> Now, they live in Illinois. My grandparents live in Illinois. They don't live down here. Um, oh, they wouldn't start watching my streams. I decided I might put, like, a shortcut. Not the app. I can't put the YouTube app on their phone. But I might get, like, a shortcut that takes them to YouTube.com slash Lil Simsy in Safari. Because I don't, I, we, they don't know how to use the app. That'll be too confusing. It'll, like, there's too many things on the app that aren't me. We need to have, like, a very much, like, it just goes to Lil Simsy you know, as opposed to like going anywhere on YouTube because they're not gonna understand how to get there. And my uncle can put the Wi-Fi in for them, so they should be okay with that. Um, but. <laughs> they can watch my show, yeah. <laughs> Greenberg, thank you for the five months. Harper, thank you for the bits. Um, I love you, Harper. I'm really sorry to hear that. I'm glad, I'm so glad that you're okay. I'm glad I can, I can be a distraction for you. Uh, Monica, thank you for the six months. Sam, thank you for the bits. Miali, thank you for the bits again. Um, <laughs> thank you all so much. But yeah, the shortcuts seem that that's probably the, the best bet, right? Um, I might not even try with Twitch. Like, I think that one might be too confusing because I'm only live at a certain time. At least like on YouTube, the videos are always there. But on Twitch, it's like how, I don't know. I missed your sub, Hippie Frog. Are you sure you played it? Try and refresh, see if you can play it yourself. Did you actually like play a message with it? Um, but yeah, my grandparents are, are really not good with technology. They're, my, my other grandma, my dad's mom, like she has an iPhone and she's got her iPad, she plays with friends on, but, and she like does her email, she emails her, her friends, but my grandma, not good with technology at all. Um, so, <laughs> um, but it's okay. You know, you can't blame her. <laughs> you can't blame her. She's like 90. You know, what are you gonna do? <laughs> 
Indigo, did it not play notification? That's weird. Thank you for the sub. I'm sorry. Thank you so much for the sub. Um. Yeah, that's the thing, Coupon. Like, sometimes, like, like my grandma is, is a little bit better and more well-versed in it, but my, my mom's parents, they don't, they don't know anything about it. Um, I think it kind of scares them a little bit. They, like, don't know how to use it, and they don't, like, they haven't needed to, so... What's the point, you know? Um, but... <laughs> Asa, thank you, and congrats, congrats on the Discord world. That's awesome. I hope I find Pietro eventually, Alicia. I don't have a high expectations for it, though. Um, but, <laughs> oh, it, there's a lot going, especially with, like, like, Apple products, like, there's so many things, like, even email is overwhelming and, like, doesn't make sense to them, like, you need to, you know, <laughs> we need, um, simple, simple instructions and simple things. <laughs> Rainbow, thank you for the bits. Um, Diva, Di Diva, thank you for the bits as well. I had to, um, my, my dad's mom... Um, the one who has, like, an iPad and stuff. She's still not that great with technology, but I have to, like, write down instructions for her. She was trying to download a PDF from email, but she didn't understand how to open it after she had downloaded it. Like, she knew, she was trying to, like, download it so she could print it off, but she was just trying to, pr like, press print on the email, and so it was just printing, like, the email, but she was trying to print off, like, the attachment. And so I was, like, on the phone trying to be like, okay, so it should, like, pop up in the bottom corner. You can, like, hover over it. There should be, like, a download button. And then it should go save your... And, like, she was trying to, like, write it down so that she can follow it. And I, like, it's so hard to explain these things, you know? Especially when you can't, like, see it to, like, show them very easily. Um, but that's... I mean, it's hard when it, like, there's, like, a lot of things on the screen and you aren't, like, familiar with how to do it. Like, it's, like, I press print, but it's printing the wrong thing. I don't get it. Like, I... I mean, it makes sense, but... Aaron, thank you for the four months. Allie, thank you for the two months. Um, Lizzie, thank you for the three months. Swags, thank you for the bits. You have a Pietro picture? Oh, I'm gonna get it myself. Just you wait, Swags. I, I don't have Pietro yet in Animal Crossing, but one of these days I will. <laughs> one of these days. <laughs> um, I'm, I might eventually get there to Pietro. I swear I'm gonna find him. I've spent so many hundreds of tickets to find Pietro in Animal Crossing. Like, I have to find him now. I have to. <laughs> You're late? Lydia. I'm late to what? I've been here for two hours. <laughs> what? <laughs> Lydia, I think you're late. <laughs> Apple has online courses on how to explain their products for seniors. Oh, that's interesting. I wonder if I could, um, I, don't, I honestly, I don't, I don't know how you do that. Did they have to watch it online? I'm telling you, even like getting online to watch it would probably be too hard for my grandparents to figure out. Like my mom's parents really don't know how to, I know you were joking, Lydia, don't worry. <laughs> But like even even my my mom's parents, I don't know if they could even do that. Yeah, like my my uncle is there, so he'd be able to put the Wi-Fi in for him, and they should be okay. <sighs> I don't know. Yeah, that's the thing. Sometimes libraries offer tech classes too, but like not during a pandemic, probably. My grandparents don't leave the house at all. They're too scared too. Nobody in their town wears masks. They're in like a small town in Illinois. Nobody cares or wears masks at all. It's really not good. <laughs> um, <laughs> Ayo, thank you for the tier two, two, tier two, two month resub. Thank you so much. Um, but yeah, it's not good. It's very scary. It makes me nervous. It's so stressful, like watching all of this happen at it. Like everything, like that being totally out of your control. They don't even go to the store. Like, my, my uncle goes to the store and brings them groceries because they're too scared to go. Um, it's a good thing that my uncle is there and able to, like, to do that. Um, but, <sighs> stressful. Infinite, thank you for the two months. Thank you so much. Um, anyway, this is the house. <laughs> so... Most people around here wear masks, like, in the grocery store. There's always the occasional person. But my mom and I, we were, like, parked at a gas station. And she, like, went in to go grab something. 
and I was waiting in the car. I kid you not, I counted six people that walked in with or walked out, like six total people while I was there that did not have masks on. Six. What is wrong with you? Like how, I don't get it. Or they walk in with a mask like on like below their nose. Like what are you, why are you even wearing it at that point? You're so, uh, it stresses me out so much. I don't understand how you can not, well, you say only six, Sierra, but I was at a gas station. There aren't a lot of people in there. <laughs> like, I just don't understand how they aren't scared. I don't get it. I don't get it. And like most places have mask mandates, but like they weren't saying anything in the gas station. So the people are just going in and out like, no issue apparently. I don't, I just, I don't understand. I don't understand. <sighs> but anyway, it's fine. My siblings are still in online school, Riley. Um, they decided, uh, obviously, because it's still so bad to start this semester online again. They did online last semester, like full online. They, my, my sibling school has a choice of like doing, um, going in person or doing full online. Um, and they're doing like full, full online. They aren't, they don't go to school at all. They do school virtually completely. Um, and then they had a choice to go back on campus, like at the start of the semester. And my parents were like, probably not. <laughs> it's getting worse. It's not better. <laughs> it's just worse. So Brett and Shanna do only online school, um, but such a nightmare. I think they kind of like it. I think they like having a little bit more flexibility um, and not having to wake up so early because like our high school here starts at 7, 10 a.m. Um, and they don't have to be up at 7, 10 for their online school. So I think they enjoy that <laughs> a lot more. Um, and they don't have that many like Zoom classes. They have, it's a lot of like, like, um, like reading and writing um, and not a ton. They have some Zoom lectures, but not a ton. So they don't have to be up that early, which they like a lot better too. Yeah, school starts like bell rings in class 7, 10 a.m. So you leave the house at like 6.30, you know? Um, <laughs> and it's still dark outside, which is horrible. I used to hate that so much. Going to school when it's dark is horrible. Absolutely horrible. I used to hate that. That was the worst part. Like around this time of the year, the sun rises at like 7.15. The sun rises after you're in school. Like you're you're in class and watching the sunrise through the windows. Like, isn't that just bizarre? Like, I, I don't know. I just, I have a very hard time functioning before daylight, especially functioning when you're like 16 and trying to do school, like taking a test and it's still dark outside. Like, <laughs> Oh, yeah, I don't miss that at all. Um, I think if it wasn't dark, it would be a lot easier. But because it's still dark, like, it just, it's so hard to exist. Like, we would get to school, and they would have, like, these, like, emergency lights on campus. So there'd be, like, these, like, red lights on everywhere, which is even worse. It's so weird. It's, like, dark outside, and there's red lights everywhere. Why are they red? I just, I, oh, I hated it. <laughs> I hated it. Purple, thank you for the 12 months. Kit, thank you for the bits. Infinite, thank you for the two months. Um, it sounds creepy, doesn't it? Yeah, and our hallways are out, all outdoors too. Yeah, because I live in Florida, so all the hallways are outdoors. They're not like, it's not like one big building. It's like a bunch of outdoor hallways. So you're just outside in the dark. <laughs> and you're like waiting for class to start and you're standing out in the dark before class, before the bell rings. Like, we would get out of school at like 2.20. The bell would ring at 2.20. That was the last period would end. Um, that was nice getting out super early because then you had like a bunch of time in the afternoon um, But I would much rather get out a little bit later and start a little bit later, but whatever um. <laughs> but Yeah, 220 is really early to get out of school um, And on Wednesdays we would have school get out an hour early on Wednesdays um, And so we would get out at 120 on Wednesdays and that's nice Yours was 8.30 to 2.30? What? That's not fair. Whatever, it's fine. 7.45 to 2.10? What? Wow. <laughs> 7.45 even is so much better. When, like, when does the sun rise right now? I'm checking. Sunrise 7.18, yeah. I said 7.15, didn't I? Oh, I'm so smart. Anyway, well, 
school starts at 7.10. The sun rises after school starts. <laughs> oh. I was so close. I'm so good at this. <laughs> Sanjay, thank you for the 12 months. Um, I'm really, really sorry. I'm so sorry to hear that. That's so scary. Um, Beth, thank you for the four months. Purple, thank you for the 12 months again. Thank you guys all so much. Um, here's nine to three, but they're making it, they're going to maybe change it to 10 to four. Interesting. My middle school was nine to like nine thirty to four thirty, I think, or something. Nine thirty to four. No, it was like nine thirty to four. And then I would get home at like four thirty. Um, cause they had like all of the schools here are like staggered. So elementary school is second. Like we middle, high school starts at seven ten. Elementary at like 8, 10, and then high school or middle school at like 9, 10 or 9, 15 or something. And then they use the same buses for everybody. So all the schools start at different times, like an hour apart. Um, and that going from high school where your school starts at like 9, 15 to, or from middle school, I mean, to high school where it starts at 7, 15, that like two hour difference in your schedule, you have to wake up so much earlier. <sighs> and it's, I guess it's nice because then like, if you're in high school, you've got time after school to like do stuff and like work or whatever, but no one wants to wake up that early. It's terrible. I used to get up at like 5.30 every morning in high school. Ew. Ew. <laughs> oh, that's a good question. Great. Um, so if you type money and then whatever amount you want. Oh, I don't, testing, okay. <laughs> testing cheats on first. And then you type money and then, oh, I, there was a U in that. Money and then numbers. What? Okay. That was weird, sorry. I don't understand. The glitch somehow, that was bizarre. I don't get it. Um, the one in The Sims 3 was way worse. In The Sims 3, it was like, oh, what am I doing? In The Sims 3, it was like family funds, their last name, and then the number. Um, but this one's just money, and then however much money you want, which is easier, so. You can also get a mod um, called UI Cheats, and then you can set money way easier just by clicking on it, so. <laughs> Testing cheats enabled true. Yeah, if you had two else with the same last name, it wouldn't work, yeah. Or sometimes, um, you, it just, it was confusing. The Sims 3 was confusing. <laughs> Can someone type money into my cheats bar, <laughs> right? Can we get some mother load in real life, please? <laughs> um, okay. Well, anyway, here's the house. It looks really nice. I, I, I've just been talking this whole time. We haven't really done anything except for talk. But that's okay. Talking is fun. It's really nice and fun. <laughs> um, anyway, the house is done. Yeah, it took me three streams to do this. I got no business taking that long. It's embarrassing, to be honest. But it's okay. Everything's fine. I think tomorrow we're gonna play Animal Crossing for a little bit, right? Um, and then on Friday, we'll play The Sims again, which will be fun. <laughs> tour, please? I can do another tour, yeah. So here's the outside of the house. It's supposed to look like this, and I think it does, as you can see. Um, and then here's the back of the house. There's a big pool and... <sighs> Sorry, I'm yawning. And patio and stuff. <laughs> Um, and then you come inside the house and there's a living room, no TV, piano, We've got a bathroom, we have a kitchen, there's a dining room, there's a living bedroom, <laughs> there's a bathroom, there's a gym, there's an office, upstairs we've got a bedroom and a bedroom and a bedroom and a bedroom and a bathroom. <laughs> and a bathroom, and a bathroom, and that's the whole house. The counters are from the vampires pack. So, what packs did I use? Ooh, 
Eco Lifestyle, University, Get Famous, Seasons, Cats and Dogs, Get Together, Get to Work, Realm of Magic, Jungle Adventure, Parenthood, Vampires, Dine Out, Spa Day, Tiny Living. Oh my god, Vintage Glamour, Backyard Stuff, and Cool Kitchen. Um, yeah, this is a, quite a few packs in this one, sorry. <laughs> More like, which packs did you not use? I know, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. The pathing is interesting. This is actually, um, so, okay, when you're placing a floor tile down, when you're placing a room, um, you can place, like, rounded rooms, right? Um, that's what this is. There's a tiny bit of a round room, just in that little bit. And then there's just like flooring down, but I wanted to have a slight bit of a curve. So that's just one little bit of a rounded room. You can see the whole thing like that. Um, because then it curves a little bit and it looks cute. Same thing in the back. There's a couple little round pieces of, of room. I don't know. I didn't use seasons. I this is like the first time ever I've not used seasons. I use seasons in like every build. Seasons is probably like the best. Honestly, in my opinion, if you're gonna pick one pack for The Sims 4, Seasons has got to be the one. Like, you don't get a new world, but the calendar is so useful and like the weather legitimately makes every world feel like a new world. Like Seasons is so, so useful and the, win the windows are super good. Like Seasons is just, it changes your gameplay completely. Like it, it, nothing else literally affects everything you do other than seasons like the weather and the seasons it's so useful 39 months oh jess i'm so sorry you put it with me for so long <laughs> thank you for the 39 month reset you guys if you don't follow jess doodle on twitch you all know jess you all love jess but jess is our extremely talented emote artist and friend all of these wonderful cats you have she drew them so if you don't follow her you are missing out <laughs> we just got a couple new emotes, um, like this, this week or so. Uh, my favorite one, honestly, Simsy Shout, I love, but Simsy Peace is one of the cutest emotes. I love it so much. Jess did a really good job with these, so thank you, Jess. We love you, Jess. <laughs> Um, but the, they're really good emotes. We have some really good emotes, not to brag, and we also have so many of them. Like, an absurd number of emotes. <laughs> Actually, thank you for the four months. I remember, um, back, so when I first commissioned Jess to, to draw emotes, we had, like, 22 emote slots. I remember being like, listen, I'm really sorry, but can you draw me, like, 22 emotes? <laughs> um, and who would have thought that after that, we'd go on to get, like, 50 more? <laughs> oh my god. It's so weird to think about my streams back then versus now. Um, me and Jess have been through a lot together, I think. I also, I met Jess at TwitchCon, like, right after that. Um, yeah, I was the first person to ever commission her for emotes, and I was like, can I have 20? <laughs> um, but look at us now! Anyway, but back then, that was probably, like, September-ish, I guess, because then TwitchCon was, like, then in like September, October, and I met Jess then at that TwitchCon, and then we've never met again since then, which is terrible. <laughs> but that was kind of fun. That was a really fun TwitchCon. Um, I would put cats on my grave at this point, right? <laughs> yeah, no, but the thing is me and Jess had both just started streaming because I started streaming in August of that year. And then that was in, like, September, October. Like, I had just started streaming. You had just started streaming. Like, we were both so, like, such babies for this. We had no idea what we were getting into. <laughs> um, and that's what makes it so fun, I think. We, we've been through it together. We've been through it all. <laughs> okay, anyway, that was, the, that was the tour of the house, by the way. Started like last week of September and then got affiliated the day you landed in California. Oh, that's right. I remember that. Yeah, that's wild. <laughs> you were waiting for your luggage in the airport when you got the email. Oh, that's so annoying. Then you didn't get the affiliate badge at TwitchCon too because you got affiliated at TwitchCon. <laughs> that's kind of fun though. Um, that's an exciting time to get affiliated because it's like I'm going to TwitchCon and I just got affiliate. Like that's so fun. 
Um, it's like a big moment, and then you're like actually there, like with everybody all together. It's a nice time. Uh, Maddie, I don't remember how many viewers I used to get in my first streams. That was a long time ago. I remember that my first stream, I like decided to randomly go live. And I, I didn't have any mods. <laughs> Um, I didn't know how to stream like it was my first time ever and then I had like 800 viewers and I remember being like oh my god what am I gonna do and like randomly modding kill people, kill people and I was like Maggie equippy I know you from Twitter you're modded and now Maggie's still here <laughs> and um I remember SimGuru Steve used to help me so much like he was like Kayla you gotta get a twitch bot or like a twitch chat bot Here's what you need to do. Let me know if you need any help. If you've got any questions, you should use this one. Here's how you use a Twitch bot. And I was like, oh my god, Steve, thank you. I had literally no idea that I needed a bot. Um, but So I owe a lot to SimGuru Steve. Um. <laughs> oh, the good old days. I was also scared to stream. This was, I started streaming when I was like... Um, I was 18, like freshly 18. I started streaming when I first moved to my dorm in college because I had the worst internet at my parents' house. I literally could not stream from my parents' house. Like I had like 1.5 up. Like I, it's like physically impossible to stream from their house. Um, they got better internet now, but back then literally cannot stream. Like it's not possible. Then in my dorm in college, I had the best internet. I had like 800 up. Like I, oh, it was great. The best, best time of my life. So I, soon, I, I always wanted to stream, but I couldn't because I had no internet. But then, once I moved to my college, I'm going to speak better. Then, once I moved to my college dorm, I had way better internet, so then I could stream. Um, and then I did. So I started, like, right when I started college. So I was, like, freshly 18. It was August. Um, maybe September. I don't remember. I don't know. Shelby, thank you for the seven months. Heather, thank you for the sub. Um, I started YouTube when I was, like, 16, real summer. Well, no, I first started YouTube when I was, like, 12. But not on Lil Simsy. I wasn't making Sims videos then. I missed your bits. Oh my god, I missed so many things! Ashley, thank you for the four months. Christine, thank you for the bits. Um, wait, Mary, wait, Mary was watching a Try Guys video on, on her iPad. Mary, I, Mary, guess what? This Try Guys merch. <laughs> Brigitte, thank you for the eight months. Um, did I miss anybody else? I don't think so. I'm sorry. How did she pull up a Try Guys video? Which one? Honestly, first of all, good taste. She might be two, but she knows what she wants. Um, <laughs> but I love that. That's really funny. Yeah, she's like a very small child. Yes, Max Sims. <laughs> she pulled up a Try Guys video. <laughs> I respect it. I like the Try Guys a lot. They're very, they're very fun. Um... LPS crew, Littlest Pet Shop crew, writing, thank you for the four months. <laughs> anyway, I, some of my favorite YouTubers of all time probably are the Try Guys, so. I listen to their podcasts a lot. I don't listen to every episode because I don't have a ton of time to, but I listen to a lot of their episodes. I listen to the, the Try Wives podcast more often than the Try Guys podcast, to be honest with you. Um, did I miss yours, Oh, I don't know. When did, when were they? How long ago? I don't see them in my stream labs. I don't know. I don't know. I'm sorry. Thank you, though. Um, but I like their podcasts. I think they're nice. I think that um, Zach's fiance is really cool. I think that Maggie is really, really cool. I like her a lot. So <laughs> um, I like to listen to her talk. I think she's really cool and fun. And I just, I like her. So <laughs> um, <laughs> big fan, big fan. <laughs> but anyway, I like all of them. They're all they're all very nice, good people. So I'm sorry, Oli. Thank you for the bits. I appreciate that. Um, the podcast that I listen to religiously and never miss is called My Favorite Murder. I've been listening to it since I was in high school. Um, for like year like like four years now I've been listening to it, maybe even longer. Um, I really like them. I like their podcast a lot. I just think they're nice, good people. And I enjoy that podcast very much. Are you wearing my favorite murder merch right now, Christine? Really? I just, I love them so much. I think they're so cool. Pippi, thank you for the nine months. But yeah, I've listened to them um, for years and years and years now. So I've always liked them. Your sister read their book, really? <laughs> 
It's called My Favorite Murder. Um, I just, I like them. Wait, wait, Simarino, is your username like a play on Murderino? I didn't know that ever. Is that what your username is? No way! That's so funny. I, okay, that, I like you a lot. <laughs> Staunch, thank you for the six months. That's so cool. <laughs> Um, but they're, so they call, they like, they call people murderinos. That's like their thing. Like people listen to their podcasts. So, um, that's so funny. Um, thank you for the seven months. Um, but yeah, they're, they're cool. So I, I, not everyone wants to listen to murder podcasts, I guess, but they also like, they just talk about like nothing and like TV shows for the first like 30 minutes of their podcast, which a lot of you might not enjoy if you don't listen to them every week. But like, I love these women. I've listened to them for years. I don't even watch the shows they talk about, but they sit there and like talk about shows for like a half an hour. And I'm like, yeah, that sounds great. Love that episode, but I never even watched it. I just listened to them talk about it. I, I just like them. I think they're cool. <laughs> Best, thank you for the sub gift. But yeah, I don't know. I, um, they're, they're nice and they're funny and it's just, it's good. So. <laughs> Ridium, thank you for the sub. Uh, Smy, thank you for the sub. Summer, thank you for the nine months. Thank you all so much. But yeah, um, that's, that's my podcast mini rant. So. <laughs> um, I really enjoy watching podcasts or listening to podcasts when I'm cleaning stuff. Um, I like to just have, like, when I'm just around my house, like, picking stuff up and, like, folding laundry and doing that kind of thing, it's nice to just have a podcast on. Because you're just, like, existing, you know, and it's nice to have a podcast playing when you're just, because you're alone and you just want, like, some, some voices, like, it's nice. <laughs> you know, when you're alone listening to murder podcasts about people being murdered, it's really, it's just very nice. <laughs> what am I saying? I used to listen to them a lot when I was on, when I would fly a lot more. Obviously, I don't fly much now, because I, or at all, because there's a pandemic, but I used to, like, save episodes, too, and be like, okay, I've got a flight in two weeks, I'm gonna leave these two episodes, and I'm gonna cherish them on the plane, <laughs> which I used to enjoy. Sophie, thank you for the Prime sub, but anyway, that's my favorite murder I'm talking about, Haley. <laughs> Um, so yeah, Twitch streamers are a good podcast too, Kira Sims. No, you're right. I, when I'm just at my desk and, like, working on things, a lot of times I'll have a Twitch stream open. Because it's nice to just have, like, a person there, like, talking, and you're just, I don't know, like, working on something, like, not, like, that requires heavy focus, but, like, like, making thumbnails or whatever, like, doing, like, easy things. You can just have something on in the background. I like to watch Twitch streams. Because then you just have, like, a person talking at you, and it's like, I'm just doing some work. <laughs> no, Kenny. Oh, no. No, no, no. <laughs> but yeah, it's nice to just have someone there because um, some of us are alone all the time and it's nice to have a stream on to feel less alone. <laughs> it's a good um, just voice there in the distraction. So a lot of Stardew Valley streams recently. I think my, the, the streamer I watch the most right now, I go through phases of like Stardew obsession, but right now I watch Tushi a lot. Um, I really, really enjoy Tushi's streams. He's a Stardew Valley streamer right now at least. Um, and he's really good at the game. Um, and I listen to him and his streams a lot. I lurk there, I don't really type much cause I'm like usually busy, but I listen to his streams a lot, so. I also, um, for like years now, have watched Andrew Arcade every day, forever. I used to watch Andrew Arcade literally when I was in fresh my freshman year of college, um, cause I was like in my dorm, I didn't really have many friends, like I didn't really do much. So like literally every night, I would sit down and I would watch Andrew Arcade. I'd get off stream, I'd like finish up some homework or something and then I'd watch Andrew Arcade every day on stream. <laughs> Every single night. <laughs> Nuclear, thank you for the 13 months. I love Andrew's streams. I think he's so nice. He's so cool. Um, if you don't watch him, he plays a lot of The Sims as well. And like Animal Crossing and Stardew. Like all things that you would enjoy. Guaranteed. Um, he's great. So. <laughs> uh, but he, I've, I've liked him and his streams for a long time. So. I think that Andrew Arcade is probably up there with one of my favorite streamers ever. And I know Andrew, like, I would call him a friend. I've met him in person multiple times, but, like, I think that Andrew is, like, way up there with, like, one of my favorite streamers of all time. Um, I just, I think he's great, so. <laughs> <laughs> uh, 
Yeah, Turtle, I think that a lot. I think about sometimes how, like, my kids eventually, this is a long time in the future, but, like, when my kids are, like, teenagers, they're gonna be able to watch videos of me when I was, like, 16, but so many of them. Like, there are, like, thousands of hours of Lil Simsy content out there, you know? And it's, it's, like, just me, like, existing and, like, playing Stardew Valley and stuff, you know? And they're gonna, like, that's just gonna exist. And, like, people can, like, go back and watch that when I'm older. I don't know. It's kind of wild. Um, <laughs> but I have all these, like, videos and streams. Um, but that's kind of fun. It's a little unsettling to think about, kind of. Because, like, obviously right now, even my, my videos that are old now are, like, five years old. And that's not that old. Um, but... The, like, I look back on those and I'm like, oh, this is so horrible and cringy. Like, I was, like, 16, geez. But when I'm, like, 30 or, like, 40 or 50, like, how am I going to feel about them then? <laughs> I'm 21, Lil Mac. I'm not 23. I'm 21. Um, but... <laughs> yeah, it's hard to imagine your parents when they're young. Because right now, you don't really have, like, a lot of footage of when you're... Like, you'd be lucky to have, like, videos of your parents when they were young, you know? Um... And maybe it's, like, some random, like, home movie of them, like, playing once or whatever. But there's, like, thousands of hours of me, like, talking and just existing and, like, telling stories and stuff. Which is wild. Um, but, I don't know. <laughs> it's kind of interesting. Yeah, people have, like, TikToks and Instagram and stuff now, too, which is, like, gonna be around forever for everybody if they don't delete it. But I feel like, like, live streams, like, that's a whole other world. Because that's just you, like, existing and hanging out with people for a few hours, you know? Just, like, talking. Um, it's like modern day scrapbooking, yeah. <laughs> I wonder if, like that far in the future. Like, I don't think I'll be doing Let's Plays when I'm 50, but who knows? Maybe I will. <laughs> Probably not, though. Um, but who knows? Maybe. Um, but, like, I don't know if I want to, but, you know, never know. Um, but, like, I wonder if, if by then, like, 30 years from now, people will still, like, be making, like, game Let's Play content? Isn't that such a curious thought? I mean, I would assume so, right? Because people like games. I'm just, it's interesting to think about the future of media in that way, you know? Um, and, like, what kind of thing is going to be popular then? I don't know, just fascinating. I guess we'll see. I'll catch you in 30 years. <laughs> Ryan, thank you for the prime sub. <laughs> um, but the technology is going to be so different by then, you know? Like, I, I just, it's so curious to think about what, what it's going to be like. Um, Aaron, thank you for the two months. Fairy, thank you for the two months. Um, <laughs> can't wait for my 30 year sub badge. <laughs> <laughs> Could you imagine? I think there are some people that have like c How long has twitch been around and how long have sub buttons existed because um, I Think some people have like 10 year sub badges or like eight or nine year sub. It is 10 years, right? I think the first 10 year sub badges happened like recently um, And there's not many but like isn't that wild or maybe it's eight. I don't remember. I don't don't recall but either way that is a very, very long time. Launched in 2011. Okay, so it's going to be soon. Maybe it's like nine years, eight years. Steffi, thank you for the three months. Um, but imagine having like an eight-year sub to somebody on Twitch. <laughs> what a weird thought. Um, <laughs> June 6, 2011. Nine years ago. Nice. I haven't been around that long. I was not on Twitch in 2011. When did I make my Twitch account? I'm going to check. I didn't stream back then because I didn't have good enough internet to, but I made my Lil Simsy account December 18th, 2015. I've been on Twitch for five years. <laughs> I missed my Twitch five year anniversary. It doesn't count though, because my, my actual Twitch anniversary is when I actually started streaming, right? <laughs> Krista, thank you for the bits. Um, Lily, we've basically just been just chatting this whole time. Let's be honest. I don't know. I would assume Twitch would do something fun for the 10-year anniversary, right, Talia? Well, I don't know about fun, but they'll do something probably for the 10-year anniversary of Twitch existing. 
That is curious. I look forward to it. <laughs> maybe they'll make like a dumb emote or something. That's that's not that exciting, but like maybe they'll make like like Kappa golden again for the day and like stuff like that. Um, Akiko, thank you for the 13 months. They probably would have wanted to celebrate big at like a TwitchCon that this year, but <sighs> probably not. So, <laughs> eh, probably not. Or they'll add a hot tub. Yeah, they were gonna have this big convention with a hot tub. It was gonna be great for the 10 year anniversary. <laughs> and then they, you know, darn. <laughs> I still can't get over that. If you don't get the joke, the Sims had their 20 year anniversary last year. Um, the Sims had been around for 20 years. And what did they do? They released a hot tub. They gave hot tubs to the base game. <laughs> it was it was a really big moment. Um, you know, you've been around ha one of the longest running game franchises ever. And what do you get? Wow. <laughs> <laughs> wow, everybody, would you look at that? <laughs> we always have the 25th anniversary to look forward to. Oh, God, don't say it like that. Anyway, I wish that it didn't have the roof on it. It'd be so much more usable. Anyway, I don't want to talk about it anymore. It's fine. Everything's fine. Alice, thank you for the five months. <laughs> Maybe 21 is their number? Yeah, hopefully. I guess we'll see. I don't expect anything for this. She's beauty, she gets grace. Yeah, I like I like this hot tub a little bit, but I don't I have a hard time using it. <sighs> Sorry, stop yawning. Uh, but most of the swatches, like they're fun, but I don't know how often you could fit them in builds. Like, the white one and this one are way easier to match, but... Eh. Eh. <laughs> you also yawned? I'm sorry I made you yawn. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. But yeah, I it's easier, like, these, the ones from the pack are easier to use because there's no roof on them. A YouTuber I watch is talk. How much, how much do hot tubs cost? Because the YouTuber I watch is talking about wanting to buy, like, an above ground... How much do, like, if I wanted to buy this hot tub in real life, how much would it cost? Four to five K? Eight K? I guess it depends. That's wild. I have no desire for, for a hot tub, by the way. I live in Florida. That sounds hot. <laughs> I don't have anywhere to put it. But, like, I... It's so expensive. They have inflatable ones, but the YouTuber I watch, she and her sister, I'm talking about Shelby and Monica Church, by the way. They're um, YouTubers. They just bought a house in Palm Springs and they're eventually gonna make it into an Airbnb, but they're like renovating it right now and they wanna buy a hot tub. So she was talking about buying one and like looking at pricing and stuff. And I just thought that was so interesting. I've never thought about wanting to buy a hot tub before. Honestly, Shelby and Monica are like probably two of my favorite YouTubers right now. I like them both a lot. I've really enjoyed watching their vlogs because they just bought this house and like are, they're currently renovating it So it's really interesting to watch their like daily vlogs of like oh we're ripping out the kitchen today and like oh look They drained the pool today. Like it's just it's so interesting <laughs> um, But but yeah, I I enjoy their videos so <laughs> I Don't know never had a hot tub. I can probably count on like one hand the times I've been in a hot tub too. Cause I always thought they were kind of gross in like public places. I was scared of them. Like my, obviously my family doesn't have a hot tub. So I don't even really know how many times I've been in a hot tub. Not many. Between one and five, yeah. I don't know. I would assume that a pool is more expensive to maintain than a hot tub. Cause you have to get it. I don't, I don't know. I don't have any experience with either of these things really. My parents have a pool, but like, I don't know how much it costs them to maintain it. My dad cleans it and stuff, so 
You have to like buy chlorine and things and like the filter or whatever has to be checked. I don't really know. I'm not the one to ask about this. Anybody have a pool? <laughs> Anybody know what the budget for a pool is? <laughs> Anybody know how much work it is? I do not want to have a pool. I like, I know that you could like pay someone to clean it, right? But I don't really want to even do that. Like, I don't want to deal with that. I have no interest in that at all. At all. It seems like a mess. Seems like a hazard. I don't, I just, I don't want a pool. <laughs> um, obviously a lot of houses in Florida have pools. Um, not all, but a lot. It's like pretty common to have a pool around here, right? Because it's I live in Florida. But I don't think I would use it enough to make it worth it. Like, maybe if I actually had a pool, I would use it more, but probably not. Like, I don't, I don't know. <laughs> Seems like a nightmare. Seems like a real pain. Um, but maybe, I don't know. <laughs> I was like, maybe I'll get a pool someday. I don't know what I'm gonna do when I'm older, but as of right now, no interest. None whatsoever. And like, when I have kids, Oh my god, that seems like the biggest nightmare. How scary. I don't want there to be any threats of danger when you have small children around. I do not want a pool. Like, no, 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 no. <laughs> no, no, no. <laughs> um, my parents taught us to swim. I, I moved to Florida when I was like six and I was, I had been in swim lessons when I was a kid before then. But like, Brett and Shanna were, Shanna wasn't born yet and Brett was a baby when we moved here. Um, we, like, they learned how to swim when they were so young. My parents were so paranoid about it. They were like, we gotta teach these kids how to swim. We had, like, fences up all the time. Like, when, like, when we had friends over, it was always so scary because you, like, got all these kids over and there's a pool around. It's like, I just, stressful. Stressful. Um, but anyway, fences up. <laughs> Learn how to swim. Makes you nervous. <laughs> um, oh, that's really scary, Hitch. That's really, really scary. Um, no, I like the color of this sweater, Maria. This is like my favorite hoodie, I think. I just, I love this light purple color. It's so cute. So I'm a big fan. <laughs> Honestly, Claire, um, I don't think Brett ever watches any of my content at all. Don't blame him. I don't think he cares. Shanna doesn't care about The Sims 4. She only likes The Sims 3. So, Shanna doesn't watch my Sims 4 videos, but she does watch my Stardew Valley stream re-uploads. Um, Shanna spends a lot of time watching my Stardew Valley streams, and always has. I told the story before, but one time, Shanna got- I forgot what she did, but she got grounded once. Um, and she was like, but mom, I need at least to be able to watch something. And mom was like, hmm, I know how to appease Shanna, and also- make a funny meme. So when Shanna got grounded, the only- she wasn't allowed to have her laptop on her unless she was watching my videos. <laughs> Which I think is so funny. It's like a half punishment. Mom was like, fine, you want to watch videos? You can watch Kayla's. <laughs> so she was only allowed to watch my Stardew Valley streams. Well, she, she could watch anything, but she would like only watch my Stardew Valley streams. This is like two or three years ago now. But mom was like, fine, you can only watch Kayla's videos. <laughs> <laughs> um, I- I like that. That's a good story. One of my favorite stories. <laughs> Honestly, what an evil punishment. You gotta watch your sister's YouTube videos? Ugh. <laughs> um, but thank you, Mom, for the watch time. Really appreciate that. Yeah. <laughs> Honestly, Shanna, watch those ads. <laughs> um, Among Us, I went live like three hours ago almost. So. Shanna pulling her weight in watch time, right? Yeah, is it your birthday? Oh, kid, I can sing you a song. Uh... <laughs> Should you marry Penny or Leah in Stardew Valley? You know what? I'd marry Penny over Leah. That's personal preference. I told Dan that he should marry Penny in his save because he's the only friend Dan has in his Stardew Valley save is, is Pam because he like doesn't talk to anybody ever. All he does is he'll like walk past Pam at the bus stop so he'll give her presents sometimes because she's right there. So his only friend is Pam in Stardew Valley. 
Um, and so <laughs> I was like, you should marry Penny if you like their family so much. Did I miss your gifted subs? Oh my god, I'm so sorry. Crybaby, thank you for the two months. Oh, Ellis, thank you for the three gifted subs. Oh, I'm the worst. Alice, thank you for the five months. And Ellis, Elisa maybe? I don't know. Thank you for the gifted subs. Jay, thank you for the three months. Oh, I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. I'm so distracted talking about myself that I totally didn't even see them. What is wrong with me? I am the worst. Thank you for the three gifted subs. <laughs> that was like eight minutes ago. I'm so sorry. <laughs> I have no excuse. I'm just sitting here talking about myself so much, and I... <sighs> anyway. <laughs> um, I'm gonna play Stardew Valley tonight, after I get off stream a little bit. I'm very excited, because I'm trying to, like, complete this save. Like, like fully finish the game, 100% it, all the achievements, everything. Um, and so I'm having a lot of fun with that. Because I haven't tried... Well, I tried once on stream, but, like, half tried and didn't actually finish. Um, so I'm like cooking all of the things and crafting everything and catching all of the fish and like all this stuff I'm very close to all of the fish. I just can't get the ones that aren't in this season yet um, So I have the winter and the spring legendary fish left But I'm really excited about it. It's so much fun <laughs> I play on switch sometimes but I mostly play on PC green Beast, especially right now because the updates only out on PC and not out on switch so I only play um, Stardew Valley on PC right now really but I used to play Stardew a lot on my Switch back, like, when I traveled more, <laughs> but I don't really go anywhere at the moment, so I don't really need to play portable Stardew, because I got it right here on my computer, and all I do is sit here on my computer, so <laughs> might as well just play it right here on my computer. <laughs> um, Hex, thank you for the sub, by the way, and Crybaby, thank you for the two months. Oh, hi, Snappy, welcome. Good time to come here, Snap, thank you. Can I pick you up to show everybody? No? Okay. I'll wait for you. <laughs> um, I'm gonna make pasta for dinner too. That's my last update. I'm gonna go find someone to raid in a second, by the way. I've just sat here talking this whole time. We really have not. I, I mean, I finished the build, so that's all that matters. Um, hi, Snap. She's clawing on her cat tree. Oh, the house in Peach Trump. <laughs> Is that what you guys were talking about earlier? When you were like, there's news, there's news, and I was like, what are you talking about? <laughs> okay, um, who are we gonna- Oh my god, Sasha's playing The Sims 3. Oh my god, The Sims 3. I'm going to Sasha's stream. Sorry, I want to watch The Sims 3 so bad. Um, <laughs> okay, you guys know Vixella. She's a very dear friend of mine, and she's currently playing The Sims 3. You know I love The Sims 3. Um, she's making a sim. Her sim looks very cute, and I want to go watch her, so that's what I'm going to do. I hope you had a good time today. We're gonna play some Animal Crossing tomorrow, so I'll see you later. Um, thank you for hanging out. Have a wonderful evening. Um, EK, thank you for the Prime sub. I'm so sorry if I missed bits or subs. I have no excuse. I am just the worst. Who I just sit here and talk and talk and talk and talk and talk, and then suddenly it's been 20 minutes, and I just, I don't, I don't know. <laughs> Random person, thank you for the bits. Little Zika, you have a good night too. Thank you for the bits. Thank you all. I'll see you all later. Good night. I said good night and goodbye at the same time that I like did. I was like, good night. <laughs> okay, goodbye. <laughs>